Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sun Fall Cycle. What text oh, did you use? Oh, oh. I made a gathering your party text. Yeah, I know you oh, yeah he made the gathering good. party text. Oh, I did. Some it, fucking never deformed the aerial thing. text OBS entry, and it looked terrible. <laughs> yeah, and so I just I couldn't believe you so, did that. Yeah, because look. I I will never not use good things from my collaborators. Right. You kidding me? Please, I know when I suck. <laughs> I, know, I know when I'm I'm terrible at things, and bad text <laughs> is one of my things. And you helped me out, so thank you. It was you know what Jesse's not terrible at? Friendship. You know what? Hey guys, can I can I tell you a riddle? Can we start today off with a riddle? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Show me your riddles. Um. <laughs> what kind of ship? is more valuable than a ship made of gold or diamonds. Friendship. It's a Damn platinum Damn it, Brent, ship. shut up! <laughs> no one asked you! You're off the show! You asked! <laughs> oh, wait, did I play the game wrong? Friendship is the answer. I thought you, you would never guess what that. What is it, Jesse? I oh, can't oh, think oh, of oh. it. Friendship. Oh my god! You're right. That is more valuable than any other kind of ship. Wait, does that, that mean if I sell you all, you're worth more than diamonds and gold? Yeah. You know what else is worth more than gold? Electrum. You know what's worth more than electrum? Platinum. I think there's a lot of answers to this question. Jeff. Oh, so the answer is platinum ship. Got platinum you. ship. Platinum That's, ship. You know what? I I always thought that our friendship was platinum. Was we're like the platinum. Of I friendship. always thought it was bronze. That's because you think everything revolves around you. <laughs> Look how shiny my forehead is. It naturally attracts things. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> like I got that beacon. problem for real. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. forehead shine. <laughs> Jess and I just started watching One Punch Man. It's the second time that I've seen it. Oh, it's it, so and, good. And the first time for her. So I'm real excited. But the yeah. First season is that, fantastic. Second, I get the forehead about. shine. I, re I don't know. I remember it being super great the entire way through, but I, I just don't remember a lot because there's not a lot there, right? It's just like, here's a giant monster. It has a ridiculous backstory. It aren't backstories in anime super dumb? Ha ha. Saitama's got to punch it. Love it. it. Love. I, okay. Here's the thing. As a person who doesn't like anime, it's the exact reason why I love this show. I'm like, that is yes. a thing they do. That is stupid. Oh, yeah. That woman definitely is orgasming every five minutes. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Like she's I a bug, like but she also wants to have sex with him. So funny. Because I hate anime. So oh, it's I feel the like show for you. You would yeah. love That's it. That's why I love Oran High School Host Club, because it makes fun of harem anime. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Everything they say, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's like a I'm kid a, that looks like he's like 12 in it, and he's like a lolly boy and like it's like everybody's into him and there's like a character that's like he looks like he's seven and i'm like thank you thank you would a would a lolly father be called a lolly pop i believe so jesse i feel like everyone's vying for the shirt on my back today i feel because straight steven to the already, corner yeah steven already tried to get it the dad shirt but we have a, a new fighter has entered the battle because now jesse has come through <laughs> say lollipop say yeah. foiter no, it's Lolly Stepfather. <laughs> I, I the I, anime I liked the most was actually about a kid who like uh, learned to play Go and got really good at it. Amazing. Have you guys seen that one? No, but it sounds good. I'll find it. I'll send it to you. It's really good. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I've I've actually like seen and enjoyed more anime than than I think because I don't think of myself as watching anime except that I actually have and it's like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Hikaru yeah. no go. Amazing. Hikaru that? no go. Wait, that's the manga. I uh -oh. think it's called her Hikaru no go. Okay. Cool. It's really, it's really good. Go watch it. That's I all. haven't seen that. For some reason, I only watch, I only watch anime when I'm like dating a person who loves anime, which is says a lot about me as a human being. I'm gonna marry <laughs> like, someone who loves I, anime, and I'm, I'm resisting. So. But like, yeah. every time, just weak. it's always just weird. Weak, it's always like weird stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's never it anything, is. It's never anything good. It's always shit that's like, yeah, there's a little boy with a baseball bat who travels through the power lines and kills people. And I'm like, why the hell are we watching this? What right? This? That or like the show seems normal and then it just gets weird. I had that whole trajectory with Sword Art Online where I'm like, oh, kids stuck in a video game. And then it's just like, we have adopted this digital child. Let's live in this cabin and be here forever. And I'm like, aren't you guys like 12? 
You should be trying to beat the video game and get out. What the fuck happened to anime? Because I started out with like really simple anime. Yes. Like, yes. Like Trigon and fucking, uh, that's like the Holy Trinity. Trigon, Cowboy, Bebop, and fucking Ghost in the Shell. Okay. Here, here's the, the thing. The plot was the plot, right? If you got, if you got an, if you like got into anime in like the year two thousand, which I think, because that's when like Cartoon Network started playing stuff, it's ruined you. Because all the anime mm-hmm. that was being played was like kind of normal ish, very Americanized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then if you like jumped in, you realize like shit be crazy. <laughs> like they're like, well, yeah. don't you understand that actually this character that was the evil villain is actually the main character's sister who thinks that it's an evil villain but is actually an android who was born on the fourth moon of another Dude, planet. Yeah, You're like, animes are, are like describing soap the plot of Final Fantasy VIII it's now. It's like the yeah, same of days yeah, of our lives. It's, it gets <laughs> crazy, it gets weird, and you're just like, I hate this. Why can't this just be? And notice you mentioned Samurai Champloo. Eric, that's like one of my favorite shows of all time. That's very I've seen good. It like, go. I've seen it like 27 times. Things are beautiful. And I miss new jobbies every day. I also love Afro Samurai. There was this time where people were like, oh, hip hop and anime go yeah. together. Fucking peanut butter and jelly. And I was like, I am here for it. More, 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 more. <laughs> you know what's messed oh, up just... is you th- is you think I would have like thought anime was weird because of Dragon Ball Z. I had a friend who collected every Dragon Ball Z ever. You think I would have like known it's a little strange, but it never seemed strange like dudes just powering up to fight each other. It was just like over the yeah. top, but it never seemed weird. And then, like, the more you go into Dragon Ball Z, the more, like, well, don't you understand? They're all named after vegetables, and they have monkey tails. And, and you're like, ah, ah, okay, we're back to weird. This is, this yeah. is where we're at. Yeah, I just wish it was more, I don't know, I just wish it was more, it gets, it's, and there's always, like, a bikini episode or something. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, there is. You know what? I don't know why I'm just, like, talking life. shit anime about anime great. when I have this skirt in front of me. <laughs> <Showing> you earlier. <laughs> So actually, Brian, I I've watched all of Sailor lists. Moon, and it was entirely <laughs> tolerable. I mean, Sailor Moon's like our like that's like. Is that girl? Yeah, that's like tsunami though. That's. Different. I was like, where do I wear this? And then we decided that I it's have probably a... just like an Instagram skirt. Yeah, Instagram. I had that. <laughs> Put it on, take a photo. For this show called Reboot. You guys remember Reboot? Reboot. Uh, that's that's really dot, with dot Matrix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, yeah. of course I do. Was yeah, it, was so... it Reboot? Everything like, on Tsunami gets a pass. Yeah. yeah. Every, everything on Tsunami oh, gets a pass. Everything on Tsunami gets a get out of jail. I think get one of, of my coworkers card. worked on the reboot of Reboot. There's a reboot. I hate I think. that. I hate that. The re reboot? Let's change, let's change what are the they subject real it? quick. Eric, you're going to say something. What are we going to say? Let's get off yeah, of this. Eric, what's up? Eric, no, what are you going to say? I was, was going to talk about Samurai Champloo and how after watching that, I was like, Mouse Guard needs to have that sort of vibe. And did a little. I did a little have thing you? of mouse guard samurai. I have a comic book for you, Eric. Give it to me. It's but there's some sexual assault in it. I don't know if that's. Uh, that's fine. Okay, I'll, I'll, but I'll, the, I there, it's it. crabs yeah. that do it. <laughs> so there's, there's crab. Right hey, okay, okay I, I don't know. Now, now I'm backing away. There's <laughs> cat. There's crab bandits and uh, salamanders, and yeah. uh, they're. <laughs> We're not going to judge bronze, Eric, but we are going to judge like you. Sam- okay. It's like Samurai Champloo, but with like frogs and crabs and and newts and salamanders, and they're all they all, all right. have like swords. And it's the more it's you like describe it, the more hell. I'm not this okay is, with this. This is Frog and Mister Toad, like <laughs> post apocalyptic. Like. <laughs> like, like, could you imagine like them the on the fucking bicycles with like guns and <laughs> like wasteland? No, I'm like thinking of Mister Toad, like <laughs> driving that fucking car, bicycle. just like with a <laughs> gun. And the bicycles on the wasteland. I'm, like, I'm into it. I'm like right. trying to remember the Shooting name. I'll find bandits. it. Cold blood samurai. I'm oh, because they're cold blood. Yeah. Right now. Look up Cold Blood Samurai. The art's amazing. There's crabs in it, it and look at the art style. It's so like. Samurai Champloo, like all over oh, yeah. it. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yep, Cold yep. Blood Samurai, Love and it. there is it's it's very adult, but it's uh it, the art is amazing and it's pretty cool. Just saying. Um, let me just. There are some yeah. fucked up crabs in it though. Those crabs are really bad people. Wait, the crabs are ninjas. I never thought I would get like a media <laughs> recommendation from a friend who's like, "Listen, you gotta read this comic book. The art is incredible. The story's really fun. It's amazing." However, 
There are crabs who commit sexual assault. I just feel like I have to warn people because I was startled. (laughs) Brent, it wasn't even that. It was there's sexual assault in this. So these crabs, and you're like, wait, (laughs) wait. And then there's these newts and lizards and frogs, and you're like, what the hell are you? The more you talked, the worse it got. (laughs) Where you're just like, what the what is happening over there, Bronze? Chat, Bronze is providing excellent content warnings for this media that you may or may not want to engage with. Yes, I really need to warn people. I am a big comic book enthusiast. I read a lot of them, and I I think the comic's amazing. But if you're sensitive to that type of material, it might be a pass. Yeah. Um. That being said, I still think it's really cool. So. The art looks incredible. It's so cool. Yeah. It looks super good. Cold Blood Samurai. I don't. I couldn't even recall the story to you because I get so distracted by every page. It's so pretty. It should be a show. Somebody needs to turn into a show. And they rob oh, wait, like ants you... and stuff. It's so cool. It's so cool. Man. Have any of you read Monstrous? Yes. 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 Monstrous. Oh, good. I think I have I've only read Monstrous. volumes one and two. I haven't read volume three. Oh, yeah. We gotta pick it up. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The image is always on fire. It's really man. good. Just yeah, got it for me. I don't read enough. Image is good. Christmas like a year ago. Like birthday oh, this is like beautiful. Two years ago. Yeah. This is like nouveau e. It's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, holy shit! I want, I want the background of volume one, that statue thing in the background. I want that. That's beautiful. Holy it's super crap. cool. Uh, the the art style reminds me of like, it's Muka. Final Fantasy eight esque. Um, oh like yeah, Dia and Ultimicia and shit like that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. this is good. <laughs> we need to have a second <laughs> show about yes, comic yes. Books. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the, the anime comic book. Why don't we? Uh, yeah, we need an <laughs> anime comic book show. Sorry, I went down the rabbit hole of looking at this comic. Is like beautiful. It's yeah. crazy yeah. how yeah. cool this is. I just <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> Some sometimes I wonder, but all right, yeah, it's great. I love crabs. That's all. And then they did that, and I was like, "Wow, you let me down, crabs." Because I was like, "Crabs with swords." And they're like, doing "That's crab pretty good. shit." Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, what is crab shit? <laughs> like crabs, like crabs, no. like the idea of crabs fighting is funny because of the way crabs move, where they're like, "What? What?" Yeah, yeah. Like, and the idea of them with the sword being like, "Clack, clack, 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 clack." Yeah. Watch out! Like, that's hilarious! It's our sword. She gets it. She gets it. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I was ready to see crabs do crab shit. And then I saw what crab shit was. And I was like, whoa, I'm not cool with that. (laughs) Um, So I was really let down by crabs that day. You let me down. (laughs) Jesse. It's it's the craziest. (laughs) If you look back on this moment just you know outside looking in it's the craziest thing i've ever heard in my life <laughs> <laughs> if you just step back from where we're at what we're talking about and what you're saying is fucking crazy it's insane I mean, but the craziest of so- your entire life just i find this hard to believe um you know what you're you're right i've seen some crazy <laughs> shit, but this is up there this is part of it We've had a lot of episodes, Jesse. <laughs> I'll be real. I couldn't tell you what we talked about in any of them. It can all be used against me in the future. I don't know. Couldn't Dude, sometimes I get done when we get off the show. I'm like, did I say anything that I'm going to regret? Cancel <laughs> us. We need the views. <laughs> do it. Do no, the Sunfall don't, Cycle, don't, the number one channel it. on Just Fucking Chatting. Do it. Wait, don't did you guys us. see? Did you guys see that thing that someone tweeted at us, where like somebody was doing a competition, like YouTube <laughs> minute, show, and he was like. We're gonna do apology video challenge. Guys. I saw that. Oh I was my like, god! I wanted to like respond to the person who sent it to us, and I was like, I can't like this because I hate what they're showing me, and I'm just I got so upset that I was like, I just walked away from my computer. They I was were like practicing. He's like the guy's like, as you know, when you do YouTube, you will be canceled. And so <laughs> we're going to practice our apology videos, which is crazy. Like that might be the craziest thing I've ever seen. That was They're the like, challenge. Pre-practicing a fake apology. I was like, that's <laughs> ins- That's so meta. That's <laughs> so too crazy. Much. It's not good. Mm-mm. 
It's not good. Also, I was imagining like 12 year olds who saw that. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why someone tweeted at us. He was like, you guys predicted the future. Like, and I was <laughs> yeah, like, we have to yeah. stop saying things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're so- For the we're good so... of humanity. Today, we are canceling the Sunfall cycle forever. <laughs> And we will never speak to each other again. We spoke it into oh, existence. I didn't agree to this. We're like, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, in a, a what's that movie with Tom Cruise? Minority Report. Minority Report. Report. We're like the you. three, the three people in the, the precog. Except for in the five tank. of us. Yeah, and we just precog the yes. whole thing. We're the Twitch precogs. Yeah, and we just can see the future. The five of us together see clarity where there is none. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought that so many horrible people on this earth would finally end up doing fake apology videos on a YouTube competition show? I can't believe we, we predicted did, actually, something we, so obscure. We we did, weirdly enough. Kat, I just want to say how sorry I am and that I think all of us are for letting you down. And in case anybody out there got hurt, letting them we down. didn't intend it. What do we do? We oh, accidentally oh, predicted He's doing the a bit, Jesse. Video. Oh, this is a bit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Reset. Reset and bit. <laughs> Not the, the moment's gone now. Ruined I can't it, do Jesse. it again. I'm so you have sorry. To do another I, can't, take. I can't apologize twice. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that to you. Yeah. I, I apologize you. for Jesse's behavior. I apologize oh, yeah. for Bronze having to apologize for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was unnecessary. And I know it hurt you and her. And I promise that when I can leave my ho home again, I'll make it right. But until then, I expect no fucking you to rules. wander into the. De I, I, I expect you to wander into the desert when the quarantine is lifted. In these in these As trying amends. times, I understand how important trust is, and that's why I trust my internet connection with NordVPN. <laughs> I, I, I personally would like to apologize. <laughs> for not starting Dungeons and Dragons on time ever. I'd like to apologize for Steven's apology because <laughs> we're not sorry and he's lying. <laughs> and I'm sorry that you would ever, ever have to consider that we're not telling you the truth, but Steven needs to come clean. He's not, he's not really sorry. Can I just say, that. by the way, if we ever have to do an apology video, You've got like a great apology voice. You know, I'm really, really like, good at apologizing. Yeah, you have that kind of like I'm sad, but like I've I'm honed this like emotion. a blade. Yeah, like it cuts, it cuts. <laughs> if we already do that, because I'd be like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. And you're kind of like you have like this thing going been on where like a thousand times. Yeah, you have like a little like a little knife where you make people feel bad for you being sorry. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, I fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this it's, is a, really, you're it's doing a business video. skill, actually. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable yeah. for me, but I I am sorry for making you feel bad that I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> if we ever have to do an apology video for anything, Britt does the video, and, then, and Bronze goes, I'm not. Cut. I'm not. <laughs> being nah. good. I'm so sorry. I meant every word. Listen, said. guys, no, being, being canceled be is great because it, it, whose career has it killed? Nobody. Being actually good at apologizing is the closest you can get to real life safe scumming. Yeah. That's, that's I don't know, wrong. man. Ooh. I hate that. I hate that. Ooh. I feel like all you got to do is say some heinous stuff. Yeah. I've looked at the Social Blade statistics, man. I fucking pulled them up on my stream. You know, one week somebody's got like a freaking forehead vein popping out of their head and they're like, we got to take back this platform from the sluts and the e-girls. The next week they go from like 30 viewers to like 3,000. And I'm like, what the, what do I got to do? Because there, because real talk, you, there's a certain segment of like the viewership. Because you're a fucking slut. Do Here's it. Here's the thing. First off, I can do it. Come how, dare do it. how dare Bobby, you? How dare you? Bronze, it doesn't work you. if it's true. Come on. Oh, that's true. <laughs> how dare you put my business out there, first off. <laughs> You Secondly, put your business out there. You put your business out there, and that's why I'm putting your business out there. Here's the thing. Keep your I, business in your pants. Help She's keep just my trying business to ride open, everyone. Tales. During this pandemic time, feel free to drop my DMs. Help keep this business open. <laughs> I'm I'm essential to you. I, 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 this, all this is essential to you. Essential business. <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs>
this that's going to be canceled. The, gonna that's going like, to be the next DLC. Max Gentleman, Essential Business. Essential Business. Essential Business. And it's just me. I'm like, giving you that idea for free. As thank free you, thank 99. You. Yeah. Bronze, that is worth money. Oh I know. God. Yeah. Max Gentleman, Essential Business. Essential Business. <laughs> wow. This is a, see, we're going to get someone going to be like, they're making fun of it. That's how we get canceled. That's how I we mean, get canceled. Uh, we get yes. everything we wanted. <laughs> You makes me laugh. You're not wrong. I'm aware. <laughs> Everyone will lose their shit. They're making fun of it. How dare we laugh at a dark situation? Where it's it's important to understand that when some people have poor coping skills <laughs> and limited access to their true deep emotions, perhaps limited emotional intelligence, they resort to coping <laughs> strategies. Hey, I resist that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. I, thought I thought you were going a different Whoa. way. Okay. God, I no. am quite impressed. Interesting. That you can mimic talking out of your ass so well. Yeah. Really I've practiced a lot. Yeah, I'm just so impressed with that. Because there'd be people out here that legit post that stuff like they're fucking armchair therapists. They read two self-help books by Deepak Chopra. And Oprah. Don't, don't pretend that they no, read uh, any help books. Uh, they saw a tweet like, and they just retweeted it and they were like decades of personal. All experience. you gotta do it, like Mark honestly, Manson. You know, and you're just like Marilyn Manson. Oh god. This what? <laughs> <laughs> We should just play D and T. We gotta start. I want to. I just want to point out. Oh, I here thought you go. Ron's just like got in a fight with someone beyond the camera. Like you just like. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, uh, what is happening right now? That's how mad those people make me when they're like, they're out here giving their relationship advice, and they're like, oh. If your boyfriend, you know, doesn't buy you flowers on Valentine's. He's toxic. They have all these ideas of toxicity or whatever. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> you, you don't make any sense. Please stop. These people even in relationships or are they just like theory crafting? I think they're theory yes. crafting. I think they're sitting it's theory there. Crafting. They're on, they're on thought bot. What They're like that? building out their like ideal relationships, like a Pathfinder first edition character. Uh, Wait a minute, do y'all do y'all not know? Steven, you that? pulled that was out like one like, of the first. You dug deep into the well of old, you like old internet, and yes. you expected thought, thought. people to know what you were talking about, especially if they didn't play Warcraft back in the day. Chat knows, but also it's a pun because it's thought. Bot. Can I tell you? This is the funniest. The relationship thing. So, theory crafting site. Shout out to everyone in chat who wrote ThoughtBot. And <laughs> the Automod is like, mm -mm, yep. mm -mm. it is blocked. <laughs> My entire feed is a blocked <laughs> message. It's a fucking wall. Just a wall. It's amazing. Blocked, all blocked <laughs> all blocked messages. <laughs> it's like ThoughtBot? It's just oh, like, no. nope. I love oh, it because, like, there's nothing in chat. So, like, hey, good job, Autobot. <laughs> <laughs> made a Here's the best firewall. part. Even Thoot, Incredible. even Thoot Boot Thoot. is is locked. <laughs> Thoot Boot. Damn Thoots. Oh, I got through. Um, <laughs> I broke through. Thooty booty. Bye. Thooty booty tunnels right on through the firewall. <laughs> you know what's funny is I is I I thought about that. Now that everyone everyone on the damn internet is like a thought or whatever. Uh, I keep thinking about Thoughtbot, and I'm like, how come no one has like claimed that as a thing? And I guess because Thoughtbot was great, and no one can touch it. Thoughtbot was so Thoughtbot was a resource. Like back when World of Warcraft had nothing in the game that helped you at all. Period. Thoughtbot was the place you'd go to that would like guide you to quests or show you where spawn timers were, or like it was yep. the best resource on the internet. Period. It was incredible. Yep. And then it stopped. Then WoW stole all the things they had. <laughs> and then it like shut down. Maybe it's still it's on. It's almost like know. if you're if you're an internet service providing a service for another game, 
and that game just decides to natively take the service that you provide for the game and incorporate it within the game itself, that's like really bad for your service, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could be pretty terrible. I wouldn't call it good. <laughs> oh, didn't WoW have bought it? Oh, yeah. I maybe they got bought. I wonder how much they got bought for. Oh, Five dollars. Do y'all remember yeah, Odd Shot? A nickel. Bought. What is that? Probably like shot. probably a couple million. Oh my god! Wait, that. <laughs> I haven't it heard was that Twitch in clip. so long. Yeah, it was Twitch clips before Twitch clips. Yes. Also, it's... I have to go get this. Odd shot. Right Somebody back. could click odd shot, ah! and it would. Are we about to see a scene like... of Steven grab this cat on a? This is like real drama. Will this cat fall over? Save what the is... cat. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, he's scared that his kitty isn't as coordinated as. Maybe. Yeah, but it'll land on its feet. It'll be fine. I don't know. Oh, oh kitty. Good kitty. Remember when Steven wanted to start the podcast and actually like, start, the, start the show and, like, you know, do a thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Playing with a cat. I don't, don't ever expect me to be the one who gets us back on track, guys. Somebody. <laughs> Remember, Steven was all like, all right, I think we should start. Oh, my cat. I guess I'll go pet my cat now. It's kitty Cute time. cat. It's kitty She's time. She's very good. This is how we get canceled. Steven going, it's kitty time. <laughs> it's kitty it's time. It's very good. <laughs> it, is, it is good. It's kitty time. Why That's are you creepy. saying it like that? I don't know what you mean, bro. I it's feel like there time. needs to be a brothel owner in an RPG that's like, Welcome to Kitty Corral. Have you yeah. played Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yeah, that's, that's pretty that, much that's what just, it is. That's just canon, canonical. I love that Western version of the Chocobo song. Or the yes. or no the that it's not even the Chocobo song but the Western it's version. It's the Wall Market the, music. Yeah, the Wall Market yeah. music. But whenever the Sam shows of up, it, whenever Sam shows up, every time I'm like, oh yeah, do si do. <laughs> I don't know any, I don't know what to I say. I really want to go square dancing with you, bro. I know how to square dance. I bet you that do. I surprising. believe it. I believe it. We need. But to do you know how to contra dance? What? Wow. What's that? What? Contra dancing wow, is that's kind of a, like square dancing, except it's like a different that, style. Yeah, that's a, like a Mennonite deep cut. What shape is Contra? <laughs> Mennonite deep cut. Yeah, it's from from rural Pennsylvania. And really? also oh, urban North Carolina, apparently. Oh. It was super <laughs> okay. popular in Chapel Hill. What is it? Are you going to tell us or show us what it is? No, literally, it, it's it's quite a lot like square dancing. There's like a live band up at the yeah. front and there's like a caller that calls out dance moves. And it's a large room of people like who are like trading partners as a part of the dance. And then in yeah. calling the dance moves, you like move around the room and like, yeah. I know what that is. Yeah, that's what yeah. the guy's like. Now swing your partner around and around. Now switch partners. Yeah. Now clap your yeah. hands and stomp your it's feet. It's the electric. It's the, yeah. <laughs> it's isn't that, wait, isn't that just square dancing? <laughs> right, no, but the contra dance is like, all right, now go up, up, and then go down. Down once more, A and B, select and start. <laughs> oh, the square right. dancing I did it. was that. Somebody called it out. So, like, I grew up in this place called Galt, California. It's tiny. And we used to have a block party every year and a majority of my neighbors were white. So our block party did not involve like a cookout with hip hop music. Our block party involved square dancing. And so we would dress up and we'd square dance every year. We're the only Indians there. It was great. But there was a dude out there that would like be shouting out orders. I thought that happens at every square dance. If nobody <laughs> shouts out orders, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should. If nobody... There's a there's <laughs> apparently a slight difference. And this the, is how we the, get canceled. The... The if read that I did, orders, I don't know what to do. The read that I did didn't <laughs> clarify the difference for me, but apparently during a square dance, the participants are prompted or cued through a sequence of steps throughout the entire set. In contra dancing, however, the caller uses choreographed dances. The caller explains oh. the steps, walking the dancers through the sequence before beginning the dance. Mm. Oh, so. so this is like uh, easy mode. And so yeah. instead of tutorial. Yeah, well, square dance is easy mode. Contra dance, you heard it here. Contra dance is the don't dark hate, souls. Don't hate of me for speaking the truth. Dancing, got it. Yeah, contra dark souls of dancing. So, so, so a square dance is like one foot in, y'all. Now one foot yeah. back. Wow, yeah. that's the hokey pokey. Sure. It, no, the yes. contra dance is like do the hokey pokey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, oh, and so, you're supposed to know it. So the yeah. hokey pokey is them saying do the hokey pokey, but yes. the yeah. instructions in the hokey pokey are is... the square dance. Okay. So if someone said do the electric slide, contra. But if yes. they told you how to do the electric slide, 
Square it. Slide to the left. Yeah. Now slide to the right. Square it. Cha cha real smooth. Square dance. Okay, well, in that case, I'm never <laughs> going contra dancing because I need the I need the instructions. The step by step. I don't do this every week. I square dance like you know, I once every you boots? decade. You, you can do the macarena. I do though. have boots. <laughs> oh my god, do you have you have are they boots? Like... Yeah. I have you all seen my hat? I'm a little bit of I'm a fantasy. You're a little when it bit comes... country. Country. Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where's Just Brown? a little Brown bit like, though. I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> We can do like a whole scene together. Oh my god! Please, can that happen? I'm banning you from this <laughs> show. Can you just stop this? It, I, I mean, who doesn't like cowboy boots? Though everybody here probably owns a separate pair of cowboy boots, right? You ever been on the show? This is how I get. No, teased. I just own a. <laughs> no, definitely not. I, I don't just got have some. Any. I got some some fucking red wings, and that's all I got. But I, I get why. 15 you pairs of them. Air Force Ones if y'all want to like. <laughs> Flex. I have a problem. I, are they they're in all the tacky. back of your van, Jesse? They're all tacky and they are all shoes that are like way too garish and I love them. That's awesome. Mm. That's fair. Maybe I should get some cowboy boots and just wear them around my apartment. Wear them with that <laughs> Sailor Moon skirt. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Do it for the gram. Fucking do it. <laughs> Okay. That would be a look, and get the okay. ones that are white with tassels. Like, you know what I'm talking about? <gasps> oh yeah. my god, I actually god. have always wanted some of those. Yes, those are heckin' cute. I mean, get those the are ones basically that are white the cowboy with boots tassels. that Usagi would wear. Mm -hmm. And then get your little, get your little Sailor Moon skirt on. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking combo right there. Those two with a white, like leather cropped, yep. tasseled yep. jacket. Yep, it's gonna, it's gonna be amazing. And a cowboy <laughs> hat that says princess. <laughs> okay, not that. That's too much. I actually, oh. I'm so amused at the idea of you wearing anything that says princess. That's really funny. <laughs> princess, queen. <laughs> Give me what I want. I've always. Been I'm not so gonna lie. I've found that people that have crowns on stuff or the word princess tend to be really awful people. I was literally just about to say this. I've I've learned over the years that anyone who has like either a princess sticker on their car or queen. Mm. I've always found them to be very difficult to handle. <laughs> like, mm. You can you can extrapolate that too. Is it, cause it's basically, I mean, it's basically the Venn diagrams, a circle, but horse people. Like super into horses still. <laughs> oh. To princess termagant in chat. <laughs> the horse girls in school. Yeah, that was oh, a yeah. thing. Oh, it's, it's I had a friend who was a horse girl. She didn't like yeah. going outside to play. My mom ran a daycare out of our house. Her name was Megan. She would sit inside and color in like her horse coloring book. And I'd come in and check in on her and be like, Megan, do you want to come catch a snake with us? And she'd say, no, thank you. And then after we caught the snake, I'd come in and say, Megan, do you want to see the snake? And she'd say, no, thank you. I'd say, okay. And then I'd come back in and I would just end up sitting at the table being like, Megan, what are you coloring? <laughs> Just like wanted to be her friend so bad, but that all was she Tina. cared about was horses. Tina Belcher. Too. Yes. <laughs> Tina Belcher definitely sounds like a, a mean girl. Just the name, Tina Belcher. Mm -hmm. Sounds like she's up to no good. She's like, you know. She's the opposite laxatives. of that. She was a nice sweetheart. Tina yeah, she's in Bob's, she's in Bob's like Burgers. Tina Belcher. Oh, I thought this was a real person, not a no. character. Y'all, Jesse cartoon doesn't watch character. anime. I don't watch anime. <laughs> It's it's one of those fancy uh, American anime shows. Yeah, it's an it's an they call American it American animation. Is that what it's called? American I learned animation. how to speak American just so that I could watch American animation shows in their original language. A lot gets lost in translation. It's true. Did I started you know? an American animation club at my school. Yeah. Would you like to join? In the J dub, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, J subs over J dubs. Is, there's a little bit of argumentation about dubs versus subs. For a long time, the uh, fan uh, sub community was much, much better at translating American anime into uh, into other languages. <clears throat> this is how Steven shuts it down. He's like, "We got two fools." <laughs> All right, you know, what I happened? Take back everything God. I said about bullying. We should 100% bully these people. 
take back everything I said. Those people deserve to be bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Look how broad that statement is. Just, you know, people deserve to be bullied. If they're going to act like that, they're going to be like, well, oh, uh, uh, the dub, the su they do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really, but actually, yeah. <laughs> you're doing everything in your power to be like, I swear to God, I'm gonna get attention. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I do you know how many times I've heard that that conversation though? Like I got like, yeah. like spicy nostalgia from it. Ooh, spicy nostalgia is a good album name. Yeah, I got spicy nostalgia from like, oh, you watched that. Dabbed instead of sound, Rap album. And, 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 yeah. and you're just like, Ugh. watch it whatever way you want. I'm gonna hit this person in the face. I'm gonna get expelled. But I'm gonna do it. Don't do it. It'll just be adhering to the angry man already stereotype. And then you just like walk away mid conversation. That's what you is for. I feel like people need to start utilizing this more. I use it a lot. Ew! <laughs> no, you don't say it in a mean way. You just say it in a nice but slightly confused way, and that's it. You say, ew. Ew? <laughs> that's mean. I don't know if you, that's mean. Yeah, but you don't know if it's mean or not. That's the whole point. Ew? ew. Not saying anything mean. <laughs> I don't have anything nice to say. I say, ew. Ew? I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. <laughs> and it immediately makes a person uncomfortable where they start backpedaling on their opinion. Because they're like, well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, well, like, why, why, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, try it. It's amazing how much you can do with two letters. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Ew. I don't like these power plays. <laughs> Riz just like, dumping on us like... So I learned this is another way to destroy a human being. So just say- No, listen, this is defensive. <laughs> yes, this is a uh, tactical this is destruction. This defensive art, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really good at apologizing and saying you because I've had to learn how to do that stuff out of defense. Yep. It's Ooh. all defensive maneuvering, guys. Are we gonna play this game? What's happening? Ew. Where are we? Ew. 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 <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, you? All right, let's let's yeah. do this thing. <laughs> Dungeons and All right, friends. What happened last time? Y'all went to the barricade camp where you met up with Iramon the Gray Dwarf sitting under her upturned wagon. And you spoke with her. And you gathered information. A lot they of information. knocked over her teapot. You did. You did spill the tea. Would it, would anybody like to summarize Ew. what you Ew. learned? Um, what did we find out? We found out that Iramon was responsible for the construction of the dome. Mm -hmm. We found out that she actually botched the spell completely. Yep. Because the spell was supposed to slow down the passage of time. And instead, it has created an endless loop. We found out that there is another group of people or another sorceress that hates Iramon, that is that is trying to summon a necro celestial, which we glean is she's trying to kill the sun and then bring it back as a necro sun. A necro sun. Um, and that that's what's going to happen. Oh, yay, snap. Thank you. Sorry. Um, we healed up. By the what's way, that? everyone everyone looks at there. We're still at half health. Yeah, you haven't mm -hmm. you haven't taken any short rest. We haven't okay. rested. I haven't healed. Sorry. Okay. Thank you right, so much. Right, right. Um, and so, okay. So then we found, oh, God, everyone might, oh, never mind on summary. Um, and then we found out that, uh, the, the, the sun comes back. It's basically going to be Steven tried to pull one over on me, but he failed. It's going to be like the eye of Sauron. It's going to be like in the sky, watching us all the time, seeing everything. We will be, you know, so that's that was a thing. And we found out that's going to happen in what, 20 turns of the clock or something like that. I don't know. I kept I lost count. I should probably open up my roll 20 and find out. Exactly. Um, 28 turns, I believe. Right. Yeah. 27. 
So that's 27. So that's going to happen in 27 turns of the clock. We're going to have giant Sauron sun in the fucking sky. Um, and then we found out that the cult of Dahaka is not working with them. This is different splinter group and that they want Dahaka to come and basically kill everybody except them. And we then we always knew there were two factions. We never really knew mm -hmm. what was happening with them. But we knew there were two yeah. groups. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like we had kind of sussed out a lot of the Dahaka stuff, but I think we thought that these Necro Celestial people were with the Dahaka people, and now we know that they are not, not even kind of the same. And then the other thing we found out was that the king apparently is not happy with Iramon for botching the spell and that there's a secret way into his castle from the cathedral, from the cathedral basement or whatever. And then I think that is everything we found out. And I hope I summarized it well. Oh, Aramon had no idea who the heck Leander was, which is of some significance because she apparently knows a lot. And then um, that's about it. I think that's, I'm like looking at my notes. I think that's a pretty that. good summary. I want to double check and make sure that I told you everything that was- The like apple! Sorry. <laughs> You're walking down the uh, avenue of immortality and just Aya just shouts, the apple! Yeah. Um, we found out that the apple is not... it. Oh, God. It's the coalesced power. It's almost like a phylactery. Like, basically, we found out that the bone tree... Oh my god! I didn't help. There's, there's three. I'm looking. Of you at, help me. It was. Uh, I'm looking right now. I'm like trying to read my notes. Like, what the fuck did I write down? Mm -mm. Well, basically, it's like modes of power stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we and we asked, um, you know, about the oh, modes of power. Oh, the, the God Soul that I showed her and the apple were basically the same thing. Isn't that what she said? That the apple was kind of like a coalesced god soul. I thought it was. It was like um, no. Um, motes of power the, are objects imbued with a god's energy. It was that yeah? The motes right. of power versus tears in saloon. They were related. and and the the apple grew out of like Nizun's uh, like this dead god corpse buried under the earth, um, and so like generated a portion of his power, but. Um, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. So like it, it's not even on the scale of motes of power or um or god souls. Like it's actually it's it's on that scale, but it's a a more limited kind of thing. Hmm. And he's like the anchor, right? Nizun is like the anchor, he said. Yes. Yeah, yeah she, and he's very uh, deep about, inside the earth. Uh, anchoring his spirit the, makes an anchor. Yeah, anchoring Velzirathoth via this spear to a specific portion of the forest. Yep. And we are going to the water weird room. Hell yes, it's about time. Yeah. Awesome. Because there's, there's a door there, and then there was also talk of when we finish the water weird room maybe trying to map some of the catacombs. I think that's, but then our GM heavily implied that if we let the necro celestial thing happen, that's probably not good. Um, Although what would happen? Just like, think about it real quick. What would that look like? What would that look like? Like, wouldn't that be dope? To be, be like, and cool. then the sun shined a bright purple. And an eye formed and tentacles swallowed the wild. And they'd be like, that's, I can't believe that's we did cool. this happened. That was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. In in some ways, by not stopping it, we enabled that. Like we were part of that. And yeah, that's our it. accomplishment. Yeah. We left our mark on the world. How many people get to summon an old god through the sun? Think about it. Not many. Not many. Yeah. You know, as they say, like the best thing, you, can, you know, the way to be a hero is to stay at home. Maybe that's <laughs> us right now. Guys, we're cycle. just going to stay at home. We'll get through the instruction of the sun together. Distance. Yeah. Stay at home. Yeah. I didn't expect a show about, like, 
every day being exactly the same day over and over and over again. Everybody's trapped in their cities and has to stay inside, like to become directly <laughs> relevant. Yeah, I know. I, I, I've i already our... decided we speak it into existence. You did this. Yeah. This is yeah. your yes. fault. You're yeah. our real life Iraman. Our even has a beard. Like, capabilities will never be underestimated again. That I'm very sorry for all of this. I don't want to watch you keep practicing apologies, Stephen. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right. Not even a joke. <laughs> Ew. I don't so, want to think of my friends being that problematic. So Here we thing, are. Yeah. Rolling the down the avenue of immortality where. Uh, in the center of the street, like all along the sides of the streets are these like uh, apartment houses, like um, you know, townhouses and condo type places. Uh, this is a fairly wealthy part of the um, of the town of Servitude. And in the yeah, center the of the street, Vanessa Carlton, just making my way downtown. Walking yeah. fast. <laughs> and fast and we're tear bound. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. I'm trying in the to trip the Sarek into the into the glowy electric letters. Well, Sarek yeah. has uh, uh, unlimited agility and yeah, I'm failing. I'm, I'm unsuccessful, but I'm trying. Yeah, it's impossible. And, yeah, and uh, yeah, there's the letters down the center of the street, and you come to a point that you recognize and you understand that far ahead there are a couple of thugs waiting behind uh, a. Um, uh, a dresser that was just thrown off of the oh, upper balcony, yeah. where a man stands in chainmail with a bow across his back. And I He's, shoot him really quick. He says, "It's not here. Where is it?" And I shoot him really quick. Go ahead. This is at Jesse sung it, so that doesn't. And it's roll, also a surprise right? attack. And I shoot him really. I wasn't expecting that. And then, so that's an automatic crit, Sarek. And he dies. So go ahead and roll twice because it doesn't do the automatic crit for you. Yep, seven plus ten plus six d six sneak attack damage. Is it sixty six? I'm at forty six at the moment. Then it's eight d six. This has become an opera. Ha! It's on full cycle, the musical. I shot this man with an arrow and he exploded. <laughs> yeah, it's it's 100% straight in anime moment. This arrow goes like flashing through him. The background is all like streaks of red. He's like, Kassaw! and then, you know, like his, his back sort of like bulges out. There's like a glow inside as it, you know, explodes. Then there's like blood and gore and like a piece of intestine goes flying out. And like his- The guy's his, down on the like fall bottom across floor. The screen and he's like, ah! Like, you know, going sideways or something like that. The guys down the bottom floor don't hear start. it. They just feel the, the blood rain. <laughs> yeah. just, like, they look up and blood splashes them in the face. Yeah. Uh, and both of them, like, look at each other and they go, ha! Oh! And then they grab their, what are they using? I think they're using maces. Well, let's take a look. I'm going to call and them maces. start maces. singing a song. They go, revenge! Revenge! <laughs> Time for revenge! Because, you know, yes. to meet Jesse's song, yeah. They, they start singing Time for Revenge. They grab their maces and they come running at you. Coming so to get would, ya. We're coming to get ya. Get revenge. Get would all revenge. four of you roll? I like revenge. that. that that's cool. <laughs> Kickball change. Kickball change. Kickball change. <laughs> all right. We need to roll uh, initiative, you said? Initiative. I mean, maybe we do. Or we just kill these guys. Or we just Salt. murder them. <laughs> Woo! I rolled a 20 on the most inconsequential roll. Yeah, but these guys are about to die that. super quick. One guy It's inconsequential right exploded. now. I'm not a really good discussion about the value of initiative. With how important it is. Yep. All right, Aya. It might be the most inconsequential right. role, but you nevertheless did, in fact, win it. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, Aldrich Blast, Aldrich Blast. <laughs> awesome. Roll it up. 
Where did it go? Scott, I clicked on My thing is lagging really badly. So if it's you got a 23, which stop, nails him in the stop, chest. Stop, and then an 18, stop. which also nails him in the chest. He sings, you nailed me in my chest. <laughs> Takes 20 points of damage and gets pushed backwards. Sarek, what do you do? Uh, the other guy who has not been attacked yet. I'm going to go for him. Yes. Awesome. Uh, can I do insightful fighting for my? You already have attack? advantage because oh. they haven't acted yet. Perfect. Good but now. this is no longer surprise. Ow! Twenty six. Do I get to roll again? You get the sneak attack, so oh. forty six. Wow! Dang! What a roll. <laughs> awesome. Um. Oh man, yeah. Thug number left uh, comes <laughs> sprinting forwards. Um, what do y'all think? I feel like the optimal strategy for this fight was to begin when Aya and Sarek are at range, and Kairos and Ankara are within one move action. Yeah. Okay. This thug comes running up to Kairos. Swing in his mace. One, two. Oh, shit. Woo. Twice. He ah. hit that second time? Yeah. One, four, six bludgeoning damage, and a second time for five. There you go. Oh, Thug shit. number two comes running over to Ankarasaurus, shouting, I'm not afraid of you, you big lizard. Uh, hold so on, hold on. I'm not what? afraid of you, you big lizard. <laughs> <laughs> That was better than anything I could have done. Thank you. And it hits you twice. Okay. For seven and then four bludgeoning damage, which is a total of 11. Got it. Kairos, this thug is glaring at you with murder in his eyes, which are, by the way, pools of blackness. I don't look at his eyes as I dispatch this person of no consequence. Damn, rude. It's that classic, I don't even think about you at all. Yeah, today's just a Tuesday. Uh, 12, <laughs> an additional 23. 11, 23. 23. Uh, yeah, you you stab him twice with your spear and like his knee explodes and then his chest explodes and he dies. What oh, are yeah. these guys made of? They're right. just exploding. Uh, they're made of anime material. Ah, uh, uh, anime particles. Like Animanium, that. I believe <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> <Animanium>. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. Eric. Not Eric. And Kara. Mmm. Yeah. Turn. This bug is staring up at you. Let's get him. I'm gonna I'm bite ya. Bizarre. I'm gonna bite ya, bite ya, bite ya. <laughs> you hit. <laughs> For seven damage. Very nice. And Kara sings, but oh, it just comes I, out. I, I, <laughs> but I, uh. <laughs> You have him in your sights. Mm -hmm. I can't believe he's still alive. I'm like, shook. These thugs have a surprising amount of HP. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I am so shocked he's still alive. My wow. Eldritch Blast just kind of fizzle out. Back to back yep. ones. Don't I, worry. I, say, I got him. I swear. You can't get the shot. Uh, it's, just, this, it's more. <laughs> yeah, this, I swear this never happens to me. Just, you're just like I can't. It's just I'm, it's in Kara. The whole I, I can't get happens. good luck. I, I do this and I go, oh, yeah, yeah. But don't worry, Sarek appears next to you and is like, don't worry, your impotence fools no one. Just... <laughs> don't say it don't, like don't that. Don't worry. No one's look. No one's judging <laughs> your impotent your impotent spells. Your impotence is not a problem. We support you. Don't worry. Now let me handle this. My long hard bow, and I take a <laughs> shot. Oh, it hits all right. I'm so sad that that hit. <laughs> Bam. Ba Bam. Dead. Put him down. Yeah, he's dead. He he dies with an arrow through his cranium. Thunk. <laughs> yep. Now that the four of you have swiftly dispatched these individuals, and we tick down the clock. Should yeah, probably rest. Nine, yeah. eight, seven, six. Or not. 
Right. Um, well, these guys are just guys who killed like eight million times before. So, uh, a question for you. I remember Stephen that when we were doing this originally, way back Wednesdays, uh, a lot of these fights of non consequence, inconsequential fights, we just like got for free. So, but then we was... stopped doing it because we ended up losing more health than. <laughs> There was, there was. Do you actually, remember we I did do. like there the was, right. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. There was, there was one time I was like, let's, let's skip this and just roll to simulate a fight. And we uh, and got then, beat up. Yes, yeah, so I remember. Because you were rushing to a boss. But yeah, yeah. Also, like, it's fun to see how badass y'all are now. That you can just like nuke these guys. It yeah. is fun. A man exploded, which is great. A man exploded. <laughs> now, uh, now that you've cleared the riffraff from your path you do see something strange which is that there's a set of crows not on the railing to the patrician's house but on the railing next to it and like two of them are carrying jewels in their claws and all of them have like a gold coin in their teeth and from up the road in the market square the market, <gasps> fun, the market of money the, the chest we knocked over the remains of the massive chest of gold and jewels that you dumped there for the crows years <laughs> ago we should we could use those jewels now we are low on jewels and now we need them, True. and we kind of. <clears throat> but I'm not. I love birds. I don't know. If I uh, we them. should. We should rest up and kill the water weird, and then we'll run the jewels later. Okay, maybe we can barter with them. We just need jewels, you know. What? What? Sorry, no, don't you want not, a no, magic? No, is, we, we just have ADD. <laughs> we just have a group of an ADD. We Bronze, have a plan. No, no, we have a plan. ADD. Just do the plan. We it was fine. It was fine. Said. I just was upset you, that Eric decided to use run the jewels. I, that's and, what I was making a face about. Yeah, that's Ew. all. It wasn't about you. I just like, and then we got to run the jewels. And I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that was, that was not a reference. character moment. That was a Jesse, like, oh. oh, I hate you. Yeah. it was. An, I don't know what that know. means. What is running the jewels? You don't know RTJ? Oh, okay. it's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't do this. Back, back to the world. You're impotent Bronze, again. It's Bronze, you're impotent again. Music, I'll show good, you later. Good I'll show you later. Good music. music. Okay. Good yeah, tunes, once again, impotent. Let's go. Back to it. Go. All right, here we are, standing a little disappointed, a little unfulfilled in the middle of the road here, looking up at the patrician's house. There is a door that leads into the downstairs room, where within rests, you know, the water weird. This is it. We got to do this. I kick the door open while being like, I am not impotent. I am not impotent. It happens to everyone. It's totally normal. I don't know. It's Please never roll. Really like charge into the room. Please no, roll I... an athletics check. Oh, God. <laughs> I could have swore this door didn't have anything wrong with it. Fingers crossed. I mean, you're trying to kick a door. Oh, yeah. it. That's good. <laughs> I love this scene. It's like, I'm not, I'm not impotent. <laughs> this happened, never happened before. You kick the door, you like fall back. Like, I like oh, it. my foot. Oh, God. Oh, I like it. That she's singing. Oh, she's like God. singing, Don't Rain on My Parade while she's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, I the can door doesn't open, open Stephen. Is that oh, what happened? Oh, no, no. That door does not open from a Don't floor. worry. I, I'll open it. And uh, Sark is going to open the door just by opening the door. Yes. The, the door opens. <laughs> you see? Can, you know what? I, I, I'm going to make I'm going to make a case here for myself. OK, Stephen. Mm -hmm. From the ground? Mm -hmm. um, Do you need help back up or you? I feel that this man has emotionally damaged me, and I would like to hellish rebuke him. But uh, but I feel it's an emotional damage. <laughs> Before, like, as I she's trying like... to do that, I run over to Aya and I start singing, "Cheer up, Aya." But it comes out. Remember, cheer up. Because you're a dinosaur. I'm singing that horrible song from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> oh, I technically have to take damage to rebuke, but definitely. Uh, I would like to just sidestep it, please. <laughs> just like, <laughs> come on. Really? Ew. Ew. All right. Ew. I, uh, I, I emotionally Ew. hellish rebuke you, and you emotionally dodge. You emotionally yeah. dodge. Yeah, it's an emotional hellish rebuke. There's fire in my eyes. 
I'm yeah. very good at emotionally dodging, so don't worry. Oh, it's good that you're good at emotionally dodging because you know what you're not good at? Drawing. Your journal sucks. It's a joke. Uh, Sarek <laughs> like, gets up in your face like, you bitch. I hate you. It's terrible. I hate we you. pass it around when you're I sleeping you. and talk about how awful your figures are. No, you don't. I stay up really late. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we do. No, I don't. As, this is, like, as this argument is going on, I'm trying to be like the tiniest Tyrannosaurus Rex possible and just like. Yeah. <laughs> Ducking. You're drawing <laughs> stuff. Like trying to like, like grab the doorknob and like, like open the door with your little tyrannosaurus. <laughs> and also, also, no. I know you try to walk around like you're cock of the walk, like you're some kind of noble. Oh. Look how old your clothes are. These are obviously out of fashion. You haven't been a noble for a long time. While they're bickering, while they're bickering, I get my own fucking solo monologue scene, and I'm just hanging out, being like. When I started, I was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> After losing half my health, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> and now my group argues, but I want to rest. In the background, you're just like, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> Yes, you are. Uh, no, like, I'm not. You know, we just see your mouths moving, like just accusing each other. No. One time, as I'm just walking away from you as you get out of focus. Yeah. <laughs> like one lone, like one lone dark-eyed figure turns a spotlight on you. <laughs> everything goes yeah, everything dark. Breaks down. And there's a spotlight. The sun it's a, goes it's dark. A it's, it's a crow old reflecting yeah. on a piece of gold. <laughs> no. As yes, just smiles, exactly. All the crows with co all the crows with coins in their teeth in yeah. their in their beak start <laughs> shimmering. <laughs> the, the, the background shimmers around you, and they're like. There's a dance sequence where there's like a set of stairs and there's like dancing crows doing the kick can the can can kick dance. Yeah, I mean that's better than uh, cats. Can can. So I mean, <laughs> crows coming this fall. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, this is yeah. This is our one musical episode. Shit, this everybody. is great. Yeah. And Kara, you managed to grab like you, you managed to scratch through the wood of the door and disable <laughs> the the turning mechanism for the the handle, and then uh, you, you 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 push the door inwards. It falls off of its hinges and lands on the floor with a quack. Uh, Inside. Yeah. The is bright, emanating from blue glowing orbs set in sconces on the walls. The sound of water lapping greets your saurian ears. It smells like a pond and the beach, like the ocean, like rotting fish and like a fresh spring. There's a long reflecting pool surrounded by lush green plants and marble columns. The pool smells strongly at times like the sea, a fresh spring, a boggy swamp, etc. At the far end of the pool, in its center, let's see, we already broke the glass, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yes, there's there's a, a bust of a noble face with a sloping forehead and a strong nose crowned by a golden laurel wreath. Um, and as you look around the room, Ankara, you can see that the surface of the pool is rippling gently. Upon being met with the smell, I stop arguing. I'm just like, ew, and I follow her in there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm chugging a moon shard. Uh, Someone else. We're not resting, and I need to heal, so I'm chugging a moon shard. I'm, I'm too angry to heal. I'm too angry to heal right now. Sorry, like, we're not done I here. Oh, we're not. Walk away. Oh, we're not. I'm walking away. Ew. <laughs> Don't ew. You ew. Me. ew. 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 There's nothing to ew about. Don't you ew me. <laughs> Like, you, I just start you. like shifting them to the corner with my tail. Steven, can I inspect the water? <laughs> See if I can tell what's going on. Yeah, Stop. give me give me an investigation check. Are you going in the water? I'm peering into the water right now. Nice. You are going to get some information about this, but first I need to go get, where is it? Uh, that monster manual right there. Ha! <laughs> uh, didn't we already feed the water weird? Do we have to do this again? No, there was like the no. case with the ball in it, and then we there cracked was it, a... right? We broke it open. Yeah, but there was like another oh, thing, I man, think. This is gonna be some bullshit. I thought yeah. we cleared the room and there was just a door that we never went the one door we never went into. I thought we did too, but maybe not. Nah, there's some shit in that water. It was heavily implied. 
Yeah. Well, maybe so, we avoided the water because we were yeah, like, we're not going to fuck with this. Yeah, you, you fought the water weird <laughs> once, and then you never came back here. But it's the sunfall cycle, right? Y'all know yeah. that shit respawns. It respawns. The water weird it ain't going to respawn. So here's here's what you get, Inkara. You, you realize immediately that the water weird has respawned, but, um, like, you see that, like, while your knowledge of these creatures as a druid and also from your experience here in the past is that they are they are generally summoned to defend a pool of water mm -hmm. um this creature is reluctant to uh to tangle with a, a giant allosaurus that has just scratched open the door and stomped into the room damn right okay. it will if necessary but you have a moment where you can actually disengage and backtrack if you want um and yes, at the far end of the room is a is another door. I mean, hmm. I wonder if we can just get through the door without. I mean, is the water weird only blocking that one door? That's its whole job, uh, or is so, it just in the water? Like, I'm trying to get a better. Yeah, if you remember the last time, so like the ripples that you're seeing on the surface of the water yeah. is from the water weird moving under the surface of the water. So yeah, that's the water. I thought it was defending um, the orb. That was in the what room. is it? Yeah, what is it defend? That was defending yeah. the orb and that we already got, right? Yeah, originally, there was this okay. raised cube of water yeah. that was glass that was around the patrician's statue, which had a tier of saloon resting on its forehead. You broke the glass, you fought the water weird, you grabbed the tier of saloon. Now the water weird is only here to guard this pool of water. Okay, then um, I'm just going to stick my snout into the water and go and like blow some bubbles at it and then walk away. <laughs> cool yeah when you when you pull your face back and, and shake to clear the the droplets off of your snout this like just like jet of water erupts from the pool and just like pff, drenches yeah so you're moana now <laughs> yeah it's, that's that's exactly the scene i love that um uh, yeah i mean if we don't have to like get in a fight with it we've already gotten the orb right so let's just let it be yeah. It's How did we want to kill this water weird? I thought we were I getting the orb. Yeah, yeah. I think we just needed the orb and we got it. So we can just go to the door. Yeah. So I'll just walk to the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you stomp through the room, like squeezing your way past these marble <laughs> pillars. Yeah. Uh, can I open the door? I look at everyone else to help me with this door. <laughs> you can it open like, it. As soon as, as, as you open the door, we go, clever girl. <laughs> Eric, are you okay today? <laughs> I love Eric today. I am like, he's on it. <laughs> Rare form for sure. <laughs> All the references. Uh, I think I'll help you get through the door. Uh, mostly because okay. Sark's on that door game right now. And he gives a little like sneer back to Aya as he goes to help open the door. Because that's what he can do. He can open doors unlike some people. <laughs> Uh, so where is everybody else positioned in relationship to the door? Oh, boy. Oh, All no. Right. 20 feet away. Yeah, I'm further back. Most of this <laughs> Eric, just immediately, I am a fireball's radius in diameter <laughs> away from this door. <laughs> Every time. That's my answer. Oh, oh, okay, no. cool. So we've got Eric and um, uh, Aya back at the other end of the room, more than 30 feet away, in a straight line from the door through Jesse to the other door. No. What? <laughs> Gently staggered in case of a lightning bolt, too. Right. <laughs> You've been hit by enough line effects. Yeah. All right, Jesse. Smart. Sarek reaches out, places his hand on the doorknob, mm. turns it. The door opens easily. But? That's Ooh, all. Easily. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. He's like, of course, it would, of course there's no traps here. And he opens it and then looks back at everyone. Told you, it's fine. Yeah. The room beyond is brightly lit. In fact, sunlight streams down from above. This area is open to the sky. You hear the sound of water lapping, the wind rushing above. It smells like fresh air. It's about like 80 feet in all directions. It's a square courtyard. 
um, which has in its center a couple of moving water decorations, like a fountain and you know, like a, a tiered uh, little water run down to a pool with like some koi fish in the pond. There's a set of carved marble chairs and tables. It is, as I, as I mentioned, it is square. It's open to the sky. The edges are all covered by a balcony. Um, and an empty bird feeder sits at the edge of the water feature. And um, along the southeast wall, so let me think. I'm trying to think which one that is. Uh, that is to your left. I think okay. when you open this door, you're actually facing south, if I remember my orientation of the map correctly. Um, to your left, along the wall, a staircase climbs up to a balcony overlooking the courtyard. Uh, in the back of the courtyard, sort of across the way, uh, on the other side of this water feature from you, there is a food prep area underneath the balcony's cover on the far side. There's a marble counter, a stove, a set of ovens, um, three dried hams hang above the cooking area behind the counter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. I'm good. <laughs> Just three dried hams. Like three that's, dried ham. That's a delicacy. Yes. In um, fact, Sarek, your noble senses do detect that these are hams of quality. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Are they soaked in rum? I don't. I don't know if you know if they are rum ham from your current distance. Uh, you can always go find out. You can go taste it. But uh, I would like. To, uh, I want to go up to the room. I don't, you know, the ham's fine, but the room is, that's where the loot's oh. going to be. Am I tall enough to later. see onto the balcony, Stephen, or is it above me? Um, I think you're like 10 feet tall. So yeah. actually the balcony is like another, well, like, yeah, it's, it's probably like, if you like stand up on your hind legs and stretch and like put your snoot up, you probably like, <laughs> like break the railing of the balcony which is like a a, a thin wooden panel it's like <laughs> yeah exactly uh and then you can yes um are you looking like up at the top of the stairs or where are you looking i'm trying to just like see what's up on the balcony basically yeah so like you you, you poke your snoot up crash and, and break some of the wood here um and there's like um a walkway that goes all around like in in on all four sides of this uh, of this courtyard, mm -hmm. um, but on one side, sort of over on the stairs side, there is a doorway that leads to an interior. Okay. Um, and Sarx, you said you're already going up there. I'm, up I'm the gonna stairs. go check that. Yeah. Okay. You're going up the stairs. Mm-hmm. But okay. carefully, so as not to step on any weird traps and or things of. Do I design. get the sense from looking at the orientation that these are the back balconies of the rooms next to the patrician's apartment? Um, there are no windows that look out over here, huh. but certainly like uh, this is an interior courtyard within a building block. So like, yeah, you, you understand that there are other buildings nearby. So like in Rome, ancient Rome. Yes. We okay. have a little like collect water here. <laughs> yep. This is actually a UI element. Just yeah. pointing down towards the pool with a little triangle, hold triangle to collect water. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, Sarek, you um you move up to the top of the stairs and peer around the corner into this into this door. And you're looking into a thoroughly ransacked bedroom, notably missing the bed and a set of dresser drawers. There's furniture overturned throughout the room, a small bedside dresser. Um, a table, a vanity, and a smashed mirror, a soft plush chair, a broken vase, etc. This yeah, is important for my this, Jesse. This is important for my head cannon. When we were doing like the solo Resident Evil like point click adventure game thing of in the rooms, what is your terminating dialogue after you read something and like you need to go to the next thing? Like everyone always says like I need to get going or like I need to I need to move or whatever. Like, what is what is Sark's terminating dialogue when you're doing your like investigations of rooms? Oh, uh, for him it's like. Uh... Well, shit. <laughs> this doesn't, doesn't well fucking shit. matter. Yes, he's like, okay. well, shit. Uh, yeah, I just shout back to everyone through the door. Um, it's already been ransacked. This, the the people out front must have taken the bed and the dresses that we saw. 
Oh, yes. And uh, so let me think. Against the north wall, there is um, an open cabinet within which rests a full height marble sculpture of a serpent with its mouth open. Uh, it has one fang, a yeah. serpentine S curved dagger with a uh, streaked rust color on the tip of it, which is also streaking the tongue of the dragon. Uh, Sark is like, oh, shit. Hey, how did I miss this? Boy, it's almost like I was just told or something. Uh, gang, there is in fact a giant statue very similar to the one that we found before. Aya, you should definitely look at this. We need a dagger from the patrician's room if we're going to open it. I say back. And you notice I'm like sitting in a marble chair <laughs> by the pool. Like eating somehow have hell. lemonade. <laughs> Stunning, stunning myself. <laughs> my weird rum, over here. Rum ham. Don't yeah. you have the dagger? No, so I left Haka? it in the statue. Yeah, we'd uh. have to go back to the statue to get it. I mean, it's not far from here, though. We just have to... Somebody has to go climb, because where the we dresser got... was, you go up there, and it's right there. That's the Patricia's get... room. That's where the dagger is. Didn't we get the dagger from this place? I don't remember I what we got. I swear to God, it was like that. We left it there after we opened that door and went down to that yeah. pitch black room. Yeah, where we fought the thing at Dahaka. Can we just look around the actual? Can we look around here for another dagger, a second dagger? Yeah. Would you like to do a um a perception? Yes. Check? I would love to do a perception check. Yeah. Uh, give me a perception check. Perception. Oh yeah. Very quickly, you, you look around the room and you ascertain that there is no other dagger here. Oh my god, um, I got it. But you learn two important things. Mm -hmm. Alright, talk to me. Uh, from the other side of the room, there is like a, an open double doors leading out to a balcony that leads down and is overlooking the door to the patrician's house. And there is a dead guy who got blown up by a pair of arrows. This is the same Actually, room. No, this this. Yeah, this was the guy who was blown up by the the. It's oh no! Yeah, it was an arrow. It was he was assassinated by an arrow. And then uh, you look back and like back through the 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 bedroom over to the balcony. Um, looking down from the balcony, now that you're up at the top, you can see down into the like food prep area. Wait, and down so, wait, in there. So is this? We've already been here. This is yes, the same room. This is the patrician's bedroom where the statue of Dahaka <laughs> can be opened to reveal. A, a black yeah. Hallway. I put it together after is, as, as the dagger. Room. I was same I was room. amazed when y'all were like, we left a dagger in that statue. We've got to go back and find the statue and get the and dagger. Then you, I'm I notice. Oh wait, no, it's here in my pocket, and I keep eating my rum ham. This is the <laughs> statue that you put the dagger. Oh in. my god, the same room. All and, right, yeah, um, dejected, I go like sit down next to I and just like eat ham. I hand you ham, but oh, I like slap you kind of like it because I don't like you. I've Sorry. Worse. <laughs> Behind the food prep counter on the ground is an iron trap door with a heavy iron padlock. No one brought this up. A broken and rusty length of chain is attached to a ring in the center of the trap door. Catacombs or sewers. Oh my god. Hey, or catacombs. Uh, and Kara, hey, pal. I'm already on it. <laughs> I'll pull it off. Excellent. Good use of teeth. <laughs> so what are you doing, Ankara? Uh, you said it's like a chain that's attached, right? So I guess mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get the chain like onto one of my giant teeth and just like pull it. Super cool. Okay. Um, so as soon as you pick up the, the chain with your giant tooth, you feel this like sharp pain in your tooth. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my God, the yeah. chain is so cold. And in fact, you can see like a layer of frost rhyming the chain and the trap door. It's not doing you any damage. It's just really cold and it, it kind of hurts. Um, go ahead and give me a, an athletics check, which is, uh, it's just a d20 roll plus your strength. So since you are an Allosaurus, roll your strength for your Allosaurus. So you're saying roll it differently than on my sheet? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, don't roll, roll in Kara's strength. Yeah. Roll in Karasaurus's strength. So it'd be like 1d20 minus 1, because of my 
negative one strength? Uh, as an Allosaurus, you should definitely have more than that. So let's see. Look at Down a little bit below, you should have an entry in the characters. Oh, order, okay. Called Encarasaurus. Ba, ba, ba. It looks like you've got a strength. Oh, 19. 19. Yeah. Nice. So you should just click that. Okay. Sorry. Cool. 15. So you, you make a strong heave on this chain, um, and two things become readily apparent. First is that um, the trap door itself is exceedingly heavy, heavier than um, like this particular effort is going to lift because it's like a, a, a thick slab of iron, right? Um, but then two, like it is still locked. Mm. And so- But you said it was a grate, right? Um, it's, it's like a plate. It's like an iron plate. Um, okay. Well, yeah. it's all iron, like the whole thing. Yep. The lock is iron too. Have we mm, come across any keys? I could try to weaken it. Do I was thinking about trying to use heat metal, but I think it just makes it glow super I hot. I have and acid. Like people wearing it. Wait. If you hit it, if you, you heat said it, then key. maybe you can break it. Yeah, do we have any Jesse. keys on us? Uh, mm. And Kara has a key from that dresser drawers. Oh, yeah, I have that that one key. Oh, literally from outside? Yeah, from right outside. Maybe it might be inconceivable, but maybe the person who lives here has a key. Oh. From the dresser drawer that was being thrown out of the patrician's bed. The patrician's oh, iron key. Yeah, I do have that. He has that. Yeah, I use it. Or I tell someone else to use it who has hands. So <laughs> there's one important question that we have to ask. And I'm what happy to let you answer right it in either way, Ankara. Hmm. When you transform your clothing and equipment can either be destroyed which I don't think you would choose, can be subsumed into your body, or your new form can be wearing your equipment. Oh yeah, my new form is always wearing my equipment and the cape that I acquired. So we've got this Allosaurus running around yeah. with like a set of leather armor and like a little cape on its back. Yeah, and, and like I have my little antler crown. Now too. carrying in one of its arms, it's got this little tiny staff of the serpent and it's got two little bronze torques around its tiny arms. Uh, yes, please. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's how we know it's her and not some other Allosaurus. Yes, Allosaurus. not a random Allosaurus <laughs> right. that you might want. To. Yeah, yeah. That's how we know. If, if like two giant spiders got in a fight, we would be like, oh, that one's yeah. in Kara. It's wearing it's like, a cape. It's like one of those situations where physics doesn't make sense. Like everything is <laughs> tiny, but it still somehow fits me. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So it's a tiny cape. It's not just an yeah. Allosaurus size cape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we know that's a car because it's wearing a cape. <laughs> <For months. laughs> that's all I can picture now. It's a spider with like a, a giant flowing. spider with a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a hat of vermin, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so oh funny. yeah, my hat. My crown of that's vermin. That's so funny. Um, who is taking the key? From Ankara's belt pouch and and trying it in this lock. I mean, I'll do it. I'll I'll do it. It's fine. Okay, stand her thirty feet away. Excellent. I stand thirty feet away as well, but I send Marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> stand close and report back to me because I'm like, okay, yeah. Go I back them up. I back up like ten feet. On a ham. Yep. Wait, Marshmallow, what? goes and sits on a ham. These hams are oh. hanging like right above the- Okay, perfect. Area. Also bring yeah. some of that ham. This ham's good. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll, I'll try. I like get the key. I'm gonna try and open it. Okay, you fit the key into the lock. It's fitting. It's perfectly. perfectly. You turn it. Now I'm turning it. The lock releases easily. The lock is released easily, cowards. And I undo oh. the lock. Okay, you take the lock off, no problem. And then I look back at Ankara, I'm like, now pull! Uh, okay, so instead of it on my tooth, because it's cold, I'll use my claw this time and try and okay. pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amazing. Give and what I've done is taken my cape off and like wrapped it around my little claw to like protect it from the cold. Yep, totally. Okay, okay. Ankarasaurus for strength. Yep. 
oh, it starts to shiver in its in its moorings, but your your tiny weak little hands give out before you manage to lift this crate off the ground. Don't you have any tentacles Never or anything went. you could do to like pull it? Don't you have pool tentacles? <laughs> I don't well, think Aya, so. you must have something. <laughs> I don't. I've only got slap tentacles. Um, I wonder if I can cast Mage Hand with my shard. Let me see. Yeah, Mage my dark shard amulet. Yeah. Because uh, you, I can try to cast a cantrip. I don't know. Mm hmm I'm pretty. I I don't know Mage Hand, but I'm pretty sure I could cast it using my using my dark shard amulet. Yeah. Let me. Just I can. Let me check. Cool. I just yeah. have to make a check for it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cool. Go for it. So, um, I have to make a DC 10 Arcana check. Mm -hmm. I make it. So you just see me like do the whole awesome Doctor Strange thing, very extra, and the eye in my amulet opens, and out of it comes like this like creepy. It's like a hand, but with like tentacle fingers, and it like kind of dances awesome. ethereally across, like something out of Fantasia, like do, 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 do. and it makes that sound. It, and yes. then it locks on two fingers. Like... Yeah, 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 and it's like yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. dancing. Like like the broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you now. Yeah, 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 yeah. thank you. Eric's picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. And then yeah, it like yeah. wraps its two little weird fingers around the, around the handle and hold. You yeah. can only... Do what, like five pounds of force? Ten. Ten. Okay. Ten. You were prepared. Ten enough to do it? Well, no. combined with a giant oh. Allosaurus, yes. Oh, is is Brit still helping me? Yeah. You can sure. do it, Brit. So uh -huh. we both heave. So I ho. I love this image. <laughs> but I <laughs> Sark. What? But I, I don't love it enough to give Inkara advantage uh, because the mage hand is such a small assistance. Oh. Uh, can't Sarek but, come help us pull? Yeah, Sarek, can't you help? But isn't can it everyone true? help? Uh, fine, I'll help pull. I mean, Kairos? one of us has evasion. One of us doesn't. All yeah. right, Kairos, you should definitely go do this. Mm, Marshmallow, come on, help me. Help, help. Me, don't call me. I was gonna say help mommy, but I don't want to encourage that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not encouraging that. So Marshmallow, your me. mommy wants your help. Don't sit down. No, Marshmallow, you should gonna, definitely help your mommy. He's gonna start saying it, and but then I say I'm, it like you know. I'm gonna mommy. have to. I'm gonna have to strangle him. So your no. mommy wants help. Help. Come on, get down there from that ham. And help Marshmallow me. flies over and lands on your shoulder and says, "I'll help you, daddy." <laughs> Kairos is like, thank you, son. Now let's do this he, together. Teamwork, uh, family time. He flies me. down and he, he he gently puts his little tiny snake mouth around the chain. Aw. That's right. And then he goes, ah, that's too cold. <laughs> oh, Use your God. tail, dum dum. Use your tail and fly. Okay. Okay. Marshmallow threads his tail through the links of the chain mm -hmm. and says, that's still very cold. And then starts flying. And he lifts the chain very slowly. Okay, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Carl, we roll for this, huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Slowly. Uh. Slowly, this heavy iron plate lifts from the ground, <laughs> hinging upwards until finally uh, it's 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 you know raised vertical enough that its weight uh, recedes, and you're able to flip it over a thwam, and it thwacks onto the ground with a loud iron clang. It reveals a dark chamber down below. It is silent. It smells like frost. Um, and you can feel the emanations of the cold from in here. There is um, there's a, a dark ladder that leads down into the depths. Um, Sarek, you have dark vision, right? Yarp. Yeah, there's, um, there's a, a number of like wooden cases stored uh, on the walls adjacent to uh, to the location that you're able to like see down inside of here. I think we found the fridge. I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Hey, if we get some ice, we could probably make pina coladas. 
and sit by this. I'm just saying, just a thought. Think about it. Well, it's a thought, all right. Okay, I'm going to go down. My mage hand flips you off. <laughs> I, I with one like floppy middle finger. Yeah, yes. and it's it's a pretty big mage hand too. Yes, but it's also just as impotent. So I'm going to go down. I I'm push him. <laughs> <laughs> Sark, do you uncanny dodge or push? Of course. Okay. I'm oh, I know what's going on. I hate it. <laughs> you hear as you set foot on the ladder. All right. I get out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, not worth going down there. There is something down there chittering, and I don't like chitters. So I'm going to go over here in the sunlight. Well, I don't need to right. go down there. Step aside. I'll, I'm going down. Yes, you should. I'll nice. be up here, friend. I'm going to do it. Um, oh, God. Kairos is just expecting that there's just fucking human bodies laid up there and that Ham's a person the whole time. <laughs> it's like, that's what's happening. I ate people, I'm me? Waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. I didn't. <laughs> A man, not Ron. I mean, that, but I'm keeping this to myself, though. I'm, I mean, I I've eaten some that pretty myself. weird things. So I guess like this is crazy. <laughs> you see the scene of Kairos descending into the cellar, and there's just like bodies stacked up, and they're all missing their legs. And then, like, yeah, they're cuts hung up back, like, like abattoir. We cuts, see yeah. a close up of Kairos's face going, <gasps> and then we cut back upstairs, and like everybody's sitting around just like eating the ham. Like, not oh, me. I'm not <laughs> eating it. I didn't say I was eating that. <laughs> No, thank you. I didn't say I ate it's run ham at all. There are those ruin two. It. It's just I, See, I it's ruin just, it. I as, like, soon as, oh, as soon as I open my oh. monologue, all of a sudden you all are just fucking metagamers. Okay. I'm just kidding. I right. was just like oh, get down to the bottom yeah. of the, the yeah. ladder. So I hear I the jittering too, right? Yeah, you hear this call. Like a person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going down there. I, I yeah. see things in black and white down here, I suppose. Yes, you get down to the bottom and there's a, a little bit more important information for you. Yes, you get down to the bottom here. It's an extremely cold chamber. There's a few cases of meats and cheeses uh, down here. The floor is crisscrossed with spidery lines of light that glow a deep blue. And the floor is covered with ice. Frost rhymes all of the cases of goods here. In the back of the room, a huddled black lump rests on the floor. It's about the size of like a medium-sized dog. It's not human-sized, like not not full adult human size. A house elf, per, per, uh, smaller than elf, maybe halfling or gnome. Yeah, with frime fr frost frost rhyming its darkened figure. It sits next to an iron-banded treasure chest against the back wall. A selection of crates is piled unusually high. And they don't notice my approach. They're just chattering underneath so, their blanket. There's like a, a, a shivering motion and a, a just a little constant cold. This is so cold. Way safe out of here if you want to leave. You're saying this to Ranger. the figure. Yeah, I say it out there. I'm like, I got my spear and stuff to it too, just in case. But like, yeah, like what? It, it reaches an arm towards you and, and plops it on the ground. And then it says, D -d too cold. And then it reaches a second arm towards you and then a third. Oh, no. Oh, wait. I don't know what it is, but I think I do. <laughs> Steven, I don't, I don't know what this is. Should I know what this is? The minute anything reaches a third arm, I'm like, oh hell no, kill that thing. Yeah. Um, um, right. So you 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 see in black and white down here. So um, yes, uh, the the figure is actually covered in a black cloth. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. All right. But like, th this is what you see, right? Mm -hmm. Go up to it. Do it. Do it. Walk up to it. 
I mean, I'm okay. I'm gonna be badass then. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stalk up to it, uh, okay. and I'm gonna announce myself to it and say, uh, you know, I'm Kairos of the Legion. You're going to reveal what you are, and if you are friendly. Before you're able to do that, you you take a step forwards on the floor, and you feel this piercing, agonizing freeze run up your legs from these lines that are crisscrossing on the floor. I need you to give me a uh, constitution the saving throw at DC eight. No, no problem. Cool. <laughs> you also take one frost damage. Let's see. You are Right, this is a 40 foot long hallway. So there's eight squares between you and it. Now there's seven squares. And as you move forwards, you can you have to like steel yourself and and uh, resist against this icy cold, numbing your senses, and drawing the life from your soles of your feet. Once again, for every five foot square you advance. Oh, um, that's not gonna work. Do I, Stephen? Can I Kara. see? Yeah, uh, I turned Kara, back come here. into my human self to climb down the ladder, and then as soon as I notice how cold it is, I turn into Kara, a polar, metal. polar bear and <laughs> invite Gyros to get on my back. Amazing! Oh, incredible! Nice. I was gonna say you should just heat metal my sandals, <laughs> but uh, that works too. <laughs> All right. And Kara, heat my sandals. I'm gonna wear red hot iron feet. <laughs> well, I mean, it's cold, and then on average, it's fine. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay. Yeah. No, I get on the. Yeah, I'll get on the polar bear. I like. I like this. Maybe head cannon where like you ask her to do this, and we see how terribly it plays out, and then she's just like, uh, uh and turns into a polar bear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You climb on Inkara's back, and Kara, the floor is cold, but like you're a polar bear. Yeah, I'm just gonna saunter on over. I'll let awesome. uh, Kairos kind of lead, like let me know when he wants me to stop and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can I get a better we'll, better purchase on your we'll back. Stop, by grabbing we'll stop four or five place. spaces away. Um, yeah. And and Kara, you probably heard me call out to this thing, and you haven't heard anything from it, so I'm not being quiet to it. Um, yeah. So I guess you, I you walk up I towards know. where like the arms are out and sort of lean down to like get a look at it. Yeah. Um, a, should a probably tiny, start talking, cretin. A tiny little black tentacle arm reaches up and rests listlessly on your nose. Plop. So cold. <laughs> oh. I like, look at Kairos and then I like. Your yeah, tentacle arm sticks to your nose because it's got suckers on it. So you've just got like. Mm-hmm. I use my bear claw to like grab the cloth and yeah. um, I I kind of try to like just palm it on this or I like wrap it up in the blanket. I don't want to remove it, but I'm like flipping it over in the blanket yeah. to like hold it so it can stay in the blanket, but we can see what it is. So it's it's like another Timotheus. I yeah, I think it's another I don't like baby. This. I don't like this. Baby son demon, I knew it. Another solar serata like Tim. <laughs> yeah, but how is it alive? He's pulling out a little blankie. Why was it down there? There's a lot of questions. See, I didn't. I have so many questions too. I didn't want to dare hope it was another Tim. First off, there's only one Tim. Thank God. Uh, this <sighs> is named Jimotheus. Kill it. Don't give him ideas. Kill, this thing. <laughs> kill it. I fire all my arrows. I unleash no. the hell barrage and kill it. <laughs> Blot no. out the sun. <laughs> I use my limit break and destroy this thing. As soon as I see that it's like another baby solar demon, I just like completely treat it like a baby and like, <laughs> like try to start bear. like, do you, like do you warming stop, it up. You demorph then, or like no, no, I'm bear. still a polar you're bear. On your belly, you're like. <laughs> well, a polar bear is way warmer than a human, I think. Yep. I, right? Yeah, but yeah. yeah. So you're polar Aren't bear. Are you on yeah. her back still? Yeah, I'm I, still I got sitting there. Yeah. Are okay. you st- are you still on? No, no. You now you're just being like a bear from a Coke commercial. <laughs> 
Those are so cute, though. I'll take whatever. Um, I'll take the five damage or whatever to get out of here. I mean, I was gonna leave you on my back, and I was just picking up with like one arm to like nuzzle it and be like, oh, okay, and yeah. like warm it up a little bit until it stops shivering. Yes, yeah, and then I was gonna hand it, just give it to you, to like uh, go back up. All right, here you go, big boy. Okay, you. I reach down in there, and I'm like, y'all are gonna look around in there, though, right? Yes. What's down there? Is there wine? Is there mead? Is there Jeez. food? Is there ice? Is there pineapple chunks? <gasps> oh, yes. It's like a I love of... pineapple chunks. I love pineapple chunks, too. There's definitely a grill in the courtyard. They got so... a grill out here? Got, yeah, you got to make sure you, so you bring up food. Found something I'm... better on a friend of Tim's. No, one asked, solar no one asked for that. Put it back, mister. Wait, you, you found a Tim? You, uh, you're messing so. with me, aren't you? If I put my hands down there and reach down the ladder, you're going to hand me something gross, aren't you? Like, No, not everyone had a depraved, terrible life here. Oh, you never you had any of your siblings sometimes. put a hand in a box, but it was full of like poop or something? You never did that? No. Oh. Never. Who okay. raised you? What the never hell? had to put my no, hand. You take a cow patty, you put it in a box, you cut a hole. Anyways. No, I, I never like... had to put my hand in a box, never had to do anything with a litany against fear. I'm fine. <laughs> I walk us over to the ladder um, and try to make like confident, the baby. happy, the baby. yeah. Little noises. swaddled Tim. Put it back. We don't know what that is. Put it back. Is that the is that the sound it's making, Steven? That's Inkara trying to make confident and happy. Uh, yeah. Sounds. We only need one. Put it back. It's so cold I, down I there. I fashioned its <laughs> blanket a into a. Out at Sarek. <laughs> nope, I fashioned the blanket into a papoose, and now it's just kind of cradled in front of me. Yeah. Uh, this uh, this well, sucks. You all here, suck. This is stupid. Let me make a bonfire, and right outside the the thing, I cast bonfire. Awesome. And I'm like, okay, when you bring it up, you can warm it by the fire. I hope it attacks you. All right. It won't. It's a you baby. Get warmed up? I'm like I'm holding it, so okay. Do you, know, you want you want to get warmed up? Did you did you climb up, Kairos? Yeah, we we went up. Yeah, yeah, we left. Oh yeah, up. okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it it like reaches out its little octopus tentacles in the direction of the fire. It says warm, warm. This poor thing. Who would do this? This is abusive. It was chained up in there. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Aya. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm being kind of like, I'm not klutzy, but I'm clearly not like skilled holding this thing. Yeah. And you, this is obviously like a Tim Solar Demon. Is this a situation where you would like snatch it from me and be like, here, let probably. Me do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Or not. But okay. I think if you remember the way I carried Tim was with him creating yeah, third degree burns on my hands over my head. Right. That's, that's kind of what I do with this why, baby too. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly why I asked. You're like, no, it's mine. And then like immediately, yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah, very okay. much like, da na na na. You got another solar baby. And I'm like, so I'm just like standing there very anime with the baby over my head. And then I just very unceremoniously like plop it down in front of the fire. Yeah. We're good. It, it immediately like rolls and crawls into the fire. Yeah. Yeah. There's this as the fire burns hotter and hotter. Mm -hmm. and, and I like look into the, I like look into the flames do i see his little face yeah it's it's got big big black mm -hmm. eyes on either side of its little face it has like <gasps> a little cute beak. this one has two eyes <laughs> i say to everybody it has it goes, two eyeballs <laughs> who put you in there who, who put you in the ice box crawled dark place Oh, that was very stupid, wasn't it? That was a dumb, dumb thing to do, huh? Very d d d d dumb. Yeah, very dumb, dumb thing. Okay, well, is there anything else down there we need? <laughs> there was, uh, totally out of character, just a reminder, he did mention there was uh, a bunch of boxes stacked a little yeah. too high. You also wing, mentioned wing, a nudge, chest. Nudge. Yeah, now that, to, our, uh, like, now that the new solar baby is in the fire, I walk back over to where the, the way down is basically ready if somebody else wants to go down and not get like yeah broken. sorry I'll should. Go back down. Uh, fine i'll go i don't want to be up here with this terrible thing anyway 
I start okay. roasting the ham with a little bit of cheese on it over the fire and like offering it to Tim and we're barbecuing. Yeah, then, why so is there a Tim? Um, There's already a Tim. This I don't know. Sucks. This You'll... is maybe this is a girl. Maybe it's Tamara, Timothy and Tamara. You don't know. Tammy. Tammy. Nope. And I'm like, it, nope. All right, let's go. And Carla, poking let's get food into here. the fire to see if it takes <laughs> it. No, not for he me. He reaches out going to go. a delicate octopus tentacle and, and drags pieces of ham into her mouth. Ah. Mm -hmm. I like nuzzle her Damn with my little damn. mage hand, little little tentacles. <laughs> yeah, the little dum dum, the little Fancy. dum dum. <laughs> yeah, so polar bear goes clumsily crawling back down the ladder with Sarek riding her back. Okay. And yes, down in there, like once again, quite dark. I think um, your polar bear probably can't see very well at all. Uh, there's a, a very dim amount of light coming out from the. the I can direct you. Don't okay. worry. I can see. Mm -hmm. But yes, there are there are crates all around. Um, but there is this iron banded treasure chest next to where uh, Tim Two was positioned, and immediately beyond, uh, against the back wall, is a, a high stack of crates. And this is the only place in the in the in in the cellar where the crates are stacked this high. Mm, perhaps you can. Smack those crates out of the way for me, just like a little push. Yeah, I mean, I'll walk over there. I don't want to have him get off my back so he doesn't get frozen. So I guess I'll just use. My I'm not going off. anywhere. I'm staying right on here. Legs yep. tightly wrapped. Yep, you just very easily shove these crates aside. They go crashing and splashing and whatever. You know, they've they've got rations of various foodstuffs in them. Pineapple and wine and whatever. Oh, not the pineapple. Oh, don't don't tell him. Uh, don't 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 tell him. Oh, wait, no shit. Hungry uh, or something. I uh, shit. And Carla behind just, them. Yes. The wall is a flat black surface. What? But that. <gasps> I reach up with one of my claws and just like nick Sark for a little blood. <laughs> like, rub it on there with my paw. <laughs> awesome. Yep. As you smear Sark blood <laughs> onto the bleed. Crater, <laughs> it like lights up with runes that go swimming in dark crimson red across its surface and the reflection in the mirror deepens until you can see you know, the shadowy swirls of the dark pathway beyond. So where do you think this leads? Oh, that's right, you're a bear. <laughs> I can't talk. Hey, we found we found another slab with the portal. Oh, that that means we can get back into the the mage tower easily. I don't know. Is it? Is it, are they all connected? I mean, when we went to the crossroads last time, we saw all the doors. We just didn't have paths to them. All right. Oh my God. So now we can it. get back to the mage tower and disrupt. Uh, the, well, oh, oh my gosh, we could get Aramon there easily. We could because yes. we were talking oh, about yeah. setting up Aramon in the mage tower. We could just go grab her, bring her here through here, up the thing. While I'm like poking more food into the fire. <laughs> That's actually a genius idea. We go back, go get the dwarf. Leave uh, this other thing here. No, no, we're keeping that thing. Well, that seems no. like a lot of work. And, you know, we no. have to go back. I we think, have to go back you to know, Timotheus to... has maybe been a little lonely, and now he's going to have friends. Oh, we don't. We just leave here to he's, heat up the... You're going to make amazing things for me. You're going to make so many cool things as I, like, stroke my, my dark <laughs> amulet. Oh, this. yes. You're gonna grow big and strong. <laughs> Sarek is like protesting. I'm just, we're, we're still down there, so I just push my bare body against the wall, like everybody. crushing his leg a little bit. <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs> Open the chest. There's a chest down here. Use your bare body to do that. <laughs> Walk over to the chest. Is it yeah. locked and stuff, Stephen? Um, like, how are you trying to find that out? Uh, well, I guess we're just looking at it for now. I mean, I can't really see it right very well, so I guess I'll walk over. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a small iron banded chest, maybe like you know, eighteen inches by twelve inches by twelve inches. You know. You know. 
Uh, okay, I guess, uh, like, try to pop it open with your bear claws. With your, I guess with your I bear hat. try to do that. <laughs> yeah. you, you just, like, pry this thing open like a seal. Just plop. Straight open. No oh problem. God, it's awful. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Um, give me a strength check. Do, do it. it. Oh, wait. What's my strength as a polar oh, wait, bear? Yeah, oh, polar shit. Bear. Sorry, guys. Um, Hold on. So my polar on. bear strength is 20. It's almost... It's 20. It's plus 5. 20 is plus 5. So roll 1d20 plus 5. Okay. <gasps> oh, yeah. No, uh, you, is that good? You, you know, your, your claws just can't get purchased, but you do hear a sloshing sound coming from inside of this chest, just like a very gentle sound of like a small amount of fluid uh, running back and forth. Oh, we missed our break time real quick. And I have to pee so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> keep playing. Take a break. Keep playing. All right, let's take a break. Okay. Uh, pee break for uh, Eric. So he has to pee. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Uh, don't remember. Don't uh, <laughs> hold in your pee. It could cause problems in life. Bye. It does. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Sunfall Cycle. We in it once again. Interrupting Eric this time because that yeah. is how I live my life. Well, I, I interrupted you all having to pee, so it's fine. It's true. How dare you have a functioning bladder? If you it's uh, the bottle trick like the rest of us, the then fuck? Be fine. Just the do what figures? I do. Don't drink water and sleep two hours a day. It's not complicated, Eric. Yeah. Bring yeah. a bottle, pee in the bottle live on the show. Look at this we'll dude. Try to guess when you're peeing. fluids and getting exactly. good amounts of sleep. That's not self-care. We saw you drink that coffee. Don't you lie. We saw a coffee okay. rot to Coffee you. is the only fluid I drink. I will never drink actual water. It's also it's so clear. heavily distilled. If I can see water, through it, I don't blood. drink it. It's more like a, it's more like a, 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 a taffy, really. Boys, All right, so drink your water and stretch. I'd never stretch. My bones feel like metal, and I don't. Drink. This is a lie. Drink your water and stretch, please. I can't even keep the charade going. It's just, <laughs> I'm sorry, imagining bronze is like an eight foot tall version of herself is just like water <laughs> <laughs> like a cat just knocking it off I laugh in the face of water <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> my mental image of bronze is definitely eight foot tall yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. that episode of Rick and Morty where they see like they're projections of each other i always wonder if mine is like that alien i mean you're basically like paul bunyan but you're like bronze bunyan yeah <laughs> super tall wearing flannel knocking people's shit down whenever you feel like it american hero i love this this makes me so happy. <laughs> yes, power pose <laughs> yes and you do that all the time you do the power pose you're <laughs> Bronze bunion, you can't tell me any different. <laughs> what are we doing now? <laughs> I was about to make like a brownie blue There's ox a... joke, but I don't want to get my ass kicked. So, just... <laughs> <laughs> and brownie, you're blue ox. And I'm like, nope, mm -mm, I'm not dumb. <laughs> I don't get my ass kicked today. No, I just call so her you... a cow. It's fine. <laughs> You've been. Nope, nope, not today. Mm -mm. I'm not part of this no more. Mm -mm. Don't look at me, Browns. I'm not doing this. <laughs> no. This treasure chest. With sloshing liquid. Oh, yes, yeah. and you hear the faint sound of a little bit of sloshing liquid inside of it. Hmm. Uh, Kairos, we need your help. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kairos is there. I'll okay. walk back over to the ladder. Kairos crawls down let the, the ladder. Kairos jump on, too. Yep, totally. You walk back over walk the, back the over. treasure chest. Yep. Kairos, in this treasure chest is probably something very valuable, but we need you to open it. Uh, why don't we just bring the treasure chest outside of this frozen chest? Oh, place? I don't think we should do that. Just stare at you. <laughs> I, you guys are just sitting on my back, so I'm just like waiting. Well, if you would like can to we bring just it, drag we can this bring thing it. out of here? 
Yeah, it's small. You can pick it up and carry yeah. it. No problem. I mean, all right, go take car, it. I could probably drag it out of here, right? Go for yep. it. This so way we don't have to freeze and stand over it. No, we can of course. Yes, you open. should take it. Smart yeah. idea. All right. Well, then, assuming we get it up the stairs and stuff, then, yep. yeah, I'll, I'll no look problem. at it um, and then probably start bashing it open. Yeah. As, so, as you're yeah, about it's... to bash it, I'm like, uh, you know, I can, like, probably jimmy that lock. Yeah, there there is a, a keyhole in the iron. It's iron banded and uh. Uh, dark wood. And, yes, there's a keyhole. I could I could do that. I mean, or you could break it. By all means, care. mind over matter, and I, and I get out of the way. Yeah, Sark uh, hides behind the kitchen counter. Yeah, fireball okay. distance. Okay, fireball distance. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. you're twenty feet away. More or less. Yeah. Okay. I don't Sorry, know. There's slash and liquid in it, so I'm just gonna try to open the lock. Okay. Go ahead and give me a um, sleight of hand check. Hey, Ooh. killer. Mm -hmm. um have you done this very much oh uh, yeah okay cool yeah you you just like you know pull out what what do you use to do this um a knife yeah cool you pull out a knife start fishing around in the lock you know mm -hmm. push a couple pins out of the way twist yeah. the knife and then flip open the lid <laughs> yeah okay cool you flip open the lid you hear a small shattering sound as of glass getting crushed and then this noxious green cloud comes billowing out of the chest. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, did, did you shake the box before you? Ah! <laughs> and let's see. This is actually a 30 foot radius <laughs> poison okay, cloud. Yeah. Ah. But I'm undercover, oh. so. Of, of, of gas? Yeah, no. unfortunately, gas, gas does rises. go. Gas corners. rises. And please, everybody, give me a DC twelve Constitution saving throw. Gas rises. Oh! Chlorine gas actually doesn't rise. Well, is this chlorine? Is what this is? I'm just telling you, there are gases which rise not. <laughs> oh, we fine. No, I see. Oh wait, no, no, they don't. Because not within ten feet of me. None of you take damage from this cloud of poisonous gas. Inside the box, you see a small pile of gold pieces and a citrine and a moonstone. Yo! Each of them is worth 100 gold pieces. I scoop them up and I say, gold. I'll hold on to these because I don't trust Eric. I'm pretty sure he's been skimming off the top. Hold on to the, the stones? Yeah. For I'm sure all you know. of our crafting purposes. You hold on to the stones. Uh, I'll divvy out the gold. Okay, so there is exactly uh, 60 pieces here. So, oh, there's more than 60. There's uh, more like 60. than 60. Mm, uh, uh, you're right, you're right. You're, oh, I'm so dumb, absolutely. There's 80 pieces, 20 a piece. I don't actually know how many pieces there is. <laughs> exactly 80 pieces. And I give each of them 20. Cool. Are there um, any left over in the in the chest when this is? Yeah, done? Sark pockets 184 gold. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not letting that slide. <laughs> with the knife that I was like picking the lock with, I'm like, mm, no, 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 I mean, no, 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 no. I would expect someone who fights and dies with you to not necessarily be that greedy. So right. I, would be, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even expect that he would be stealing from me. Shocking. Yes, that's right. And so when I do, look, you he don't did. expect it. He did. No, no. Think about all the times I saved you with moon shards. How is that afforded if not through my greed? Think, Think about, about it. all the hits that we've taken that could have just went to you. Think about all the times I proudly mounted the Kara's back and destroyed animals for you. For you. Not for me. I didn't do that for me. I didn't stride across a majestic beast, fire a bow in a dramatic pose for you. Wait, I don't me. really care if he takes more gold because I figure yeah. it's kind of mine anyway. No, I just like don't have to carry it. That's true. Yeah, you can just give <laughs> it back anytime you want it. <laughs> we all buy stuff together. Like, yeah. He's so not going play. anywhere. Yeah, but it's the principle. Oh, no, I'm not principle. saying you guys should feel that way. Yeah. I'm just saying where I'm at in this situation. Yeah. You're like grunting and I'm like talking to you telepathically. I'm just overlooking it, yeah. looking at Tam in the fire. Yep. You always think you're so clever. You're I not am that very clever. clever. No, you're not. Oh, I'm the cleverest. I'm so very clever. 
Mm-hmm. Look at all the gold. It's I smell as bad as the gas that poured out of this fucking trap. Well, he who smelt it dealt it. And in this case, you did when you opened it. Pulled Literally it. true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, that is not factual statement. It happened. It happened. No one was around. We, we all smelt made, it. I'm we all saying, smelt it. I'm just saying, we took cover. We don't know what happened. It smells like a fart to me. You could have been over here trying to open this and ripped one for all we know. Listen, if I ripped that, I would be proud of it. That was a biological <laughs> weapon. You think I would hide that? If I, if I was capable of summoning that on demand, you would all know it. Yes. I would be owning it. It goes back to your impotence. You're totally incapable. Because unlike you, I am, totally I am very proud of who I am, where I come from, and what I can do. Don't talk about where I'm from. How Magic you you just seem really secretive about it. You seem really secretive about it all the Wait, time. Wait, uh, where is where is the gold right now? Yeah, does Eric yeah. have it all in his hand? Yeah, he does. Nobles have Eric queens. Eric and I are Who's arguing queen? loudly. Huh? Who's your queen? Over the amount Not of gold. It's very important. Oh My yeah, what's her, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Name her three favorite bands. She the three favorite bands all. You can't. She, I go over to them and I just kind of put a paw on each of them and start like pushing them apart from each other. Like, but you only hit your hands are deep. only so tiny, so like you only go so. No, no I'm a bear. Oh, I can shift into a bear oh, twice like, oh. a fucking long rest, but I can turn into your mom whenever I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like being mean about it. I'm just like gently pushing them apart from each yeah. other while they're yelling. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't frighten the child. I'll stop yelling. <laughs> You get them apart. There's 264 gold pieces in the treasure chest, which guilt as actually reaction. breaks down into 66 gold pieces each. Fine. That's you know pretty what? even math. Take, take it. Just take, take the gold. Then it's not about. It's a principle. It's a you never cared about principles. Never once. I watch you every day. Send <laughs> tentacles inside people's bodies. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? Talk about principles. I still have a code. I still have a code. Yes, just, the IO code. Always, hey, always look out for yourself before everyone else. Let's not argue in front of the What child. happened to your family? Speaking of family, the child. what happened to your family? All right, friends. That's, that's a story. I want to know get into. exactly. What exactly. Is doing. You have to getting a little too close to while the two of you are yeah, arguing. Yeah. So while that's about happening, uh, is, so is the gold? Does Sarek have hold of it, or is it still like? No, it's on just the still. Ground? It's still. Uh, we're just talking. Sarek, it's still Sarek, Sarek and I uh, are both far too just busy talking. arguing with each other to actually care about the gold. In the okay. Yeah. So basically, I've sat down in a giant bear sit sitting position, and I'm just like putting the gold into different piles. And pushing yeah. them far away from each other, and they're all. <laughs> and then I, after I do that, I just turn around and like walk up to them and go, Rah! "Look what you made her do! You pissed point with my bear claw and like, you made her do this. You no, you made a car match. No, and you it, always think that you're just so smart that you're smarter than everybody. And I am smart. All right, if you just That's said it. I'm gonna take a hundred. And- I walk away from them. I go back. I pile all the gold back into a pile, and I pick it up, and I walk over the hole that goes to the ladder, and I just throw all the gold in the hole. Look at what you did. Now, all the, now nobody gets it. What I did? What She did it because of you. And I'm not you going need money. down there. Well, if you need money, why can't you just say, I'm going to take this 180 gold? Why do you always have to try to steal it and act like we're all idiots? I don't need money. All... I'm fine. No, I'm very like, wealthy. Oh, I don't need any money. There's only 80 gold in the chest. Like, we're just all dum-dums. Yes, you are. So the, the volume on the argument in the background fades into the distance as the two continue arguing furiously. Mm-hmm. Hasn't stopped. They're standing over the trap door arguing furiously about the gold down the in the bottom. The sun explodes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Once again, they die. As, I've gone as... over to, to Kairos basically to like figure out what we're going to do next. <laughs> yeah. As, as the credits roll on the episode. <laughs> Is that our theme song? That's Making really peppy for uh, this show. <laughs> time out, time out. The lyrics to our song are not Sunfall Cycle, na 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 na. Sunfall Cycle. That's, that's exactly How what dare it is. you? That's, <laughs> <the end credits. laughs> that's the Saturday morning cartoon version of Sunfall Cycle. Can we at least have like a post credit like 
Easter egg where it's just like the new tentacle baby like dancing to the sunfall cycle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, me and the baby tentacle are like <laughs> a bear. And a bear I, tentacle. I hate that the lyrics are na 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 na. Sunfall cycle na 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 na. There's someone with a tambourine. <laughs> Please tell me this band looks like Hootie and the Blowfish. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. It is Hootie and the Blowfish. Me we brought and the back. little baby solar demon are like holding hands brought and like doing the grapevine <laughs> and shit. The so false I go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Eddie Vedder version. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Hootie. <laughs> yeah. I hate that that's our song, but that's what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> Here's the thing. Very, very catchy. Thing. It's in my head now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh. Uh. Are we done? Is that for real? We're done? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> we are, in fact, for real done. Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> wow. We got some stuff done today. Yeah. Different than our normal session. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. We, we, uh, I have a lot of questions about these solar demons because we fought solar demons, y'all, and they aren't all good. And we keep like inviting them back. And this one has two eyes. It, here's the thing either one, this is it is going to end up being our downfall that we keep bringing solar demons, or two, the reason why it has two eyes is because this is solar demon two, and solar demon three is gonna have three eyes, and we're just powering up the forge. Either way. I still don't like it, but I'm I'm fine with power ups. Okay, let's do this thing. Britt, what's going on with you this week? You're gonna feel really bad when the baby solar demons are the key to solving everything. No, I'm good. I don't feel bad. Uh, nothing. I'm just packing, getting ready to move. That's it. Same as last week. I don't know. Just fighting off the existential depression that surrounds us all constantly oh, now. God. So. I don't know, man. I'm like, throw. I've been like throwing everything. I'm like, whatever I need to do. Like sometimes I'm just like, I have to sing what I'm doing so I don't get sad. <laughs> do that. Like, I'm just like, whatever I need to do. I'll that should be our theme it, song. That's, like, that's why today's episode is a miracle episode. Don't be depressed. You can eat. Make sure you're feeding yourself enough. Like just, <laughs> I'm just spending all my time doing what I need to. Drink to some not water. Be sad, Go to bed yeah. on time. It's 2 a.m. You should probably sleep. <laughs> what is this? Nah, nah, is nah, inside nah. me. <laughs> uh, I'm just, yeah, musically my way through the through the next uh, week to, to pack up my stuff and move. So probably just hanging out, you know, not doing much, actually. Just resting. But uh, this is really fun. Thanks, everyone, for <laughs> hanging out with us. <laughs> uh my twitter is my name if you care about that at all i guess that's it yeah this is this is super fun this is look this is one of the few times during the week i have like interactions with human beings so this is like, <laughs> great for me thank you thank you uh steven what's going on with you not a lot hanging out working from home finished some final fantasy 7 remake which i loved um I haven't moved on to a new game. So that's like an existential crisis, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what is the what's the follow up to that for you? I don't know. Damn, dude. Damn. I should like I should like go play Final Fantasy 8 now. No. Why would you do that? No. Nah. Play 9 instead. It's go play 9. You know, when I was a kid, like I was not into nine. I was probably like 17 at the time or something like that. And I was like, oh, this art style is dumb. So maybe What's I should the best go back one? Nine is the best one. And uh, also they just put it on Game Pass. Six yeah. is the best one, but nine is a close second. I've never, I've never played, played a Final Fantasy ever. Final and Fantasy I really six. want to play it, which here, here, one. Here's the things I'll say. The reason why I think six and nine are the best is because the themes in them, uh, nine, the theme is literally about like, I'm going to say death is, like, the, the main overall, like, theme of the game and, like, dealing with that. And six is about hope, like, finding hope in utter hopelessness. And I love the idea of those two games. Like, seven is kind of, like, they just wanted to be, like, cool 
techno kind of real clear theme places. where like you're an edge lord with a big sword who doesn't know who he is yeah and eight is a, is a love story which is good but it has like a um, fourth disc that makes no effing sense yeah i don't i don't effect. like i like the first half of eight and the second half i'm just not a fan of yeah the, eight starts out so good and by the end you're like what mm. the hell yeah is that was game? my issue with it i even loved the villain they started out with they do the whole uh luke cage season one yeah, thing we're halfway through they're like oh let's get rid of this know. really awesome villain and let's bring in this other one nobody cares about and right. you're just like yep. No, but then they do it again. Then there's another. They do yeah, it a third. Yeah. You're like, what? It's so. They crazy. do it four times. Yeah, uh, and then like if you want to get crazy, like ten is about religion, but it's like all right, it's all right. Uh, and twelve is literally Star Wars. Literally Star Wars. Uh, thirteen is a trash fire they remade I hate three 13. times. And it makes me so sad because Fang is so cool because I'd never seen like an Indian girl. She's like an Indian with an Aussie accent and she wears like a sari and she's like so cool. And I've never seen a character like that in Final Fantasy. But that entire game is <laughs> yeah, so it sucks. bad. And then uh, 15 is literally a boy's trip in a car. Uh, the plot <laughs> is totally underdeveloped, but the story of four boys in a car is like really fun. Boy uh, band road trip. Yeah, it's super good, but like this, the plot goes absolutely fucking nowhere. Like, it does had... a thing where you could tell that they ran out of time at the end. Yeah. You're just like, what? Like the last act of that, the third act is just like, is and... this the same game? Yeah, it's it it it's pain. The ending was painful, but I will say, uh, play play in Japanese if you're gonna play it. This is instead of uh, this isn't like a knock. Any against, of them? Like, no, no, no. I mean. The early ones don't even have voice acting, so it doesn't matter. But okay. like, I'm I'm just saying, for the for 15, all I'm saying is, the male bonding in the Japanese version is like so much more pure than the English. Because in the English one, they're yeah. like, "You're my dude, bro," and in the Japanese, they're like, "I love you, man." And it's so Aww. crazy that they like won't do that for the English. That's because in the yeah. English, in in the story, bronze, you know this shit goes mm. down. Where by the end, you're like. These boys have been through everything together. Yeah. And they have one moment and you're like, just like say you love this dude. And he's like, You're pretty cool. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. And I saw him in the Japanese version, it literally just like, I love you. And I was like, Aww. why are we so insensitive? This is the perfect <laughs> moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's weird. Sometimes okay. you just gotta say I love so, you. Cool story. Nice. At Gorilla, we had one of the lead designers of Final Fantasy 15, Sun, come to visit. Mm -hmm. And he gave a talk on uh, establishing and enriching character for each of the characters across and through the entire game, not just like through their dialogue or their interactions, but like through the way that they uh, do animations in combat and like when they look at the map and That's like it. when they're yeah. and stuff. And it was really cool. It was a really, really cool talk. There, here's I the feel like they did a really good job with that in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like yeah. not oh, yeah. every dialogue has like a shit or sorry, not every character has a shit ton of dialogue, but like the way they, the little things they do, you can like, I, I think the best one that did the best job on is Reno and Rude. Like it's so easily establishes Reno's personality, Rude's personality, how diametrically opposite they are and how different their values and how they carry themselves are. Like one person, it, like you could just tell this person loves their job and this person, it's what pays the bills, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but like it's so like you can tell like what kind of dude Rude is like just from like the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he addresses people, and like little things how he but reacts. Also, they do stuff in combat that is it's brilliant. It goes back to old Final Fantasy VII. So Final Fantasy VII, the original, there was like a rumor that Rude loved Tifa, right? Like he would never <laughs> like Rude. Lo so in this one. If you switch to Tifa and start attacking Rude, he will, like, push you out of the way and try not to fight you or knock you out so he doesn't have to fight you. And if you play as anyone else, he won't even focus on her. And I'm like, I see what yeah, you're no, doing. Yeah, no, I noticed. With, with Tifa, he'll just be like, nope, and he'll, like, stun her. But then he'll proceed to beat the brakes off of my ass. And I'm like, yo, yo where's my son? Where is that. my son? As he just like fucking stomps you out and suplexes you head first into the fucking ground. But then when it comes to Tifa, he's like, no. Although, you, although friend. I will say. You <laughs> catch these hands and these feet. Some things in Final Fantasy VII Remake are like a little over the top. The fact that everywhere you go, everyone's like, 
yo, you want to fuck Tifa though? <laughs> like everybody it in every everywhere you go, even like random NPCs are like, hey Tifa, baby. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot, but I uh, here's the thing, I love it. Um, yeah. So you, psh, Brit. I mean, you know, go. Here's the thing, no Final Fantasy is ever connected. They have no connection to each other at all, period. Except for, like, you know, Moogles and Chocobos exist in, in the universe as, like, a through line. But there's – everyone's different. Everyone's a different story. Everything has a different vibe to it. So whatever you're, like – you know, your vibe is. If you want to get, like, real mechanical, Final Fantasy V is a good – if you don't, like, care about the story but you want to get, like, real technical, V has a lot of great mechanical aspects to it. Final Fantasy Tactics is a tactics game. If you want to, like, get tactical with it. And it has a great story that's fucked up. Um, you know, I love those things. But I'm always going to say start with nine. I don't care what Jesse says. I'm always going to say start okay. with nine. Okay, I'll start with nine. But now you guys <laughs> just make me want to play all of them. So maybe I'll start with They're nine. all good. But I just feel like nine is the one that... I don't know why. I love the soundtrack. I love, but I haven't played six. Six is on my list. I'm going to play that very, very soon. But nine is like, it, it It doesn't fall into some of the tropes that some of the other Final Fantasies do, where it's like, you're the chosen one. It's about change. It's about adapting to change. And I think right now, like, you know, I'll admit there's other probably better Final Fantasies, but right now the resilience and like how people reinvent themselves and accept like, you know, okay, this is who I am now. is pretty inspiring. Nice. Yeah. Plus Thanks, guys. Plus, it has Vivi, the best character ever created in the ever history created. Of video game. Easily. Vivi is the best. Yeah. A little sweet bug, maybe, baby. All right. Uh, I don't know why that was. It, was that we were Steven? talking to. What were we doing? Was that Steven we were talking to? <laughs> that was me. Ended up... I said. Zoned out. Are we done Final Fantasying? Uh, Steven, what's going on with you this week? Um, Nothing. You can find me on the internet at Silent Osiris. The O is a zero. Uh, I love playing D&D with y'all, and I can't wait to play more D&D with y'all next week. Also, chat, you're amazing. Bronze, what are you up to? That's so sweet. Hi. Um, I'm that bronze girl. I'm just, I'm streaming and hanging out. That's it. That's me. What microphone do you have, Bronze? Uh, the AT2020. Okay. The audio technica, I think, yeah. The pot, the Procaster. Mm-hmm. I couldn't tell. I thought you, like, had the, uh, that one that, like, professional voice actors use. I'm, I'm not a professional Look, voice actor. I know. I was going to give you a hard time, but uh, I'm glad you didn't say, like, I'm trying to think of what's, like, the new Moidiac. 850 pro something and it's like oh yeah twenty eight hundred dollars <laughs> i'm like mm -hmm. yeah no, no i guess I'm that's good. my news is i uh, okay this is probably like i don't want to flex on anybody i hate bragging but i finally invested in a new graphics card yo um, so What'd this is my jump to atx i've never had or sorry rtx i've never had an rtx enabled graphics oh, card 2800 yeah yeah so it's gonna blow I've, your mind I'm so excited to play Control with like the ray tracing and Minecraft. So that I'm very excited for that because prior, I just, I don't know, I just couldn't justify it. So I've never had, because I bought a card right before the RTX technology came out. And so this is my first RTX card. And this is like the first time I can remember in like, the last three or four years that there's been like a tangible technology jump between graphics cards. Usually it's just like, Oh, games are going to run better. But now it's like ray tracing. So I'm very excited. To it'll, it'll like really trip you up in that dark will be darker and shadows mm -hmm. will terrify you now. Oh. Uh, a great example is, Oh, what's that game that the new Metro that came out. Exodus. I've some people were telling me you gotta play Exodus with. If our, you with play ray it without the ray tracing on, it's like just so normal. You're walking around shooting stuff. If you turn the ray tracing on, suddenly it's like a horror game. Every corner oh. is like, it's wild. But you can also see people based on like where their torches are moving, so you can like be a cool sniper. It's mm -hmm. it's like a different level. I'm not sure. We need more games out to like, you know, give us what it really is gonna do. But mm -hmm. for what it does now, it's kind of freaking interesting yeah i was watching maybe it was yours i was watching someone's control footage and i was like this level did not look like this on my playthrough it, it's and yeah, i think it was control, ray tracing 
because it looks like you could see it's it looks almost like like a like a like a science fiction painting in places and i'm like that's not what it looked like for me (laughs) yeah yeah it just makes things that are bright brighter and things that are dark like pitch black and it changed it's you know how games do that thing where you like walk into a room from the outside yeah. and it does that, like light shift your thing? eyes adjust yeah it does that but like to the point where like oh fuck it's neat so Exciting. enjoy i know you'll love it Exciting. eric what is hey. happening with you this week uh still doing the workings working of rule 20 doing all the charts and all the analytics uh other than that i've been hopelessly addicted to rogue tech as always which is the battle tech um mercenary mode it's basically like xcom's long war but x uh so it's super fun i'm I'm hopelessly addicted to that um and then i've also been super like watching a ton of documentaries about early christianity and like right before the first council of nicaea and like what the Arian controversy is and like all this weird shit because i'm also running a stars without number game now and uh faith is going to be a big thing in it and I want to know why Faith Schism. So um, I'm like into this fucking deep lore right now. It's just I, comic book nerds like shit. It's literally, it's can I, I'll give you the too long didn't read version. Some guys like if the father and the son are not necessarily the same person, you have to have a son before a father. Therefore the son was made before the father. And someone else was like, no dude, you're wrong. They're the same person. And you're like, nah, dude. But it, you, if you had one, then you can't do the other. And they're just yelling back and forth and forth forever. That's that's like a huge controversy in the early church. Is that it's, it's literally like comic subs. book deep lore nerd stuff like that, yep. right? Like Iron Man couldn't have been in like whatever, you know, at like the same time. And you're like, no, but he did. And you know, it's it literally this kind of stuff uh, forever. That's what everyone cared about. And then all of a sudden, you're like, I'm excommunicating you. No, I'm excommunicating you. And then you're like, no, I'm going to have my own council with my own rules. And they're like, no, I'm going to make my own council and you're not invited. And it's just, just this real petty shit forever. It's super good. What? I wish I could excommunicate people. That would be pretty yeah. fun. So it's the, it's That's what you do. Just like the John Wick universe. Yeah, right? This, this is what they also, did. Then... Literally, it's literally what they did. Like they would um, make councils and, and they would be like, cool, we're going to have a council on this date, knowing that other people from like Rome and shit couldn't make it and like vice versa. Like they would just be like, ah, well, well, guess you're not here to vote. Sucks for you. Uh, oh, we're voted to excommunicate you. Surprise. Uh, so that's like, it's just this real petty shit. Like super petty all over like some weird, I, I mean, it's weird now, but I guess it mattered a lot to people back then uh, when it meant to be Christian. But uh, it's wild. I totally forgot the name of the game. Maybe someone in chat will remind me. There's a, I think you Morgan. should definitely steal from this. There's a yeah. game that was released uh, two years ago, maybe. That is straight up um, like a point and click uh, adventure based on a very popular German book, but it's about reli- it's like Game of Thrones but religion. Pillars of the Earth. Yes, that's exactly what yeah. it is. You, you already re- you already you referenced Pillars of the you Earth. Should, yeah. You should definitely steal that's from for that. Pendragon. Yeah, steal from that shit. That's exactly what absolutely. That is. Uh, there's not enough schisms and heresy in your D games, y'all. <laughs> Religions are weird. Uh, there should totally like. I made it on Twitter, but you know, if you have a moon god, who's to say that the full moon's better than new moon? And like, people should be arguing about that shit forever. Well, that's what I assume moon druids do all the time. Yeah, they're like, what's more important? Waxing that or stuff waning? keeps me up at night. You yeah, know, like, do that's... you support Gork? Do you support Mork? I mean, personally, who's I who's like cunning Mork. but brutal, and who's brutal but cunning? Yeah, personally, I think Mork is brutal but cunning. But I have heard evidence to the contrary, and I cannot, you know, I, I cannot this. abide that. I, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, I, I won't. Yeah. Uh, well, get back to me when we talk about chaos gods. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's it for I us. Mean, yeah, we Thank had a you. debate in my chat about whether Nurgle eats ass. Here's the thing. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's no. That's not even a debate. When Nurgle oh, yeah. kisses Dude, you, does he kiss question. you on the mouth or does he kiss you? <laughs> Anyways, here's the thing. Both same time. All right. Yeah. Thank I'll you answer. so much for tuning in. We will see all next week with another episode uh remember don't hold in your pee when you gotta go go no matter where you're at that's a fact bye everybody (laughs) you know where's the payoff bring the strippers and boots we do occasionally talk about video games bring the strippers and boots out of that time of video games bring the strippers and boots oh thank god i don't need pants now
Hey, JC, what are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boats. It's a production of broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You got it. 